Welcome back to our fourth live stream of Returnal. Ugh, this doesn't look like Biome 3 because I've been preparing for an hour and 37 minutes for Biome 3. We're going to head there in just a second, but first I got some cool secrets that I just found to show you guys. Uh, this is, of course, the first biome, the ruins, and it's really important that you min-max this area as much as you can. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've spent an hour and 40 minutes getting ready for Biome 3. The game doesn't really start until Biome 3, if you ask me. That's where it actually starts getting really difficult. I'm not even close to Biome 4 or 5 yet, but 3 is where it gets real. But before we begin, uh, before we get started, I want to give five seconds of silence to all the people that lost their progress during the update today. The game updated last night, and anybody that was pausing their game in rest mode lost their cycle. They died. They lost all their progress because the game updated and unless you had automatic updates turned off then uh, PlayStation 5 closed your game and you lost your progress. Anyway, um, I've been prepping for an hour and 40 minutes and I've found some really cool stuff, some secrets. Some of this stuff should probably help you guys through your playthrough and as soon as I... because I've, I've burned through this in entire area. All the ruins completely explored, completely pillaged, but uh, I found some secret walls and some stuff that's uh, really key, really important, and I also found this. I haven't found this before, probably because I just got the grapple hook. It looks like a new gun. Rot gland lobber. That sounds like something from Ratchet and Clank. Oh, it looks like the things that those ants throw at you. Well, I'm going to assume that this isn't going to be too helpful for us. So, I'm going to switch back to our other gun and check this out. So, in the ruins, there's these walls that you can destroy. And you want to keep an, you want to keep an eye out for them. Apparently, you can use your scan function to find these walls. I'm going to test that because I haven't broken the wall yet. I'm going to show show you guys what it looks like. But I don't... I haven't seen the scan function really work for detecting these, personally. I just keep a lookout for a very large square that has a lot of red that you can... Oh, crap. Let's see if I can remember exactly where it is. Look at this. Elevator. Disgusting. Ah, here it is. Keep an eye out for these. Let's see if it pulls up in the scan. No, see, I don't see anything in the scan about these, but this is a destructible wall, and there's, I think, always one of these, no matter how randomized your ruins are. And the reason why these walls are important is because of this. Check this out. This is a data cube. Deposit these into a device to permanently unlock this item designed for future cycles. These are really important. Unfortunately, I think I already have a data cube. I found two. Uh, but there's guaranteed to be a data cube behind those hidden walls. Now, how you unlock these, if you don't know, you gotta beat the boss. You gotta beat, uh, Frike. Or, you can go into the wastes, the second biome, and you can, um, there's, there's a device that you can use. The same one that's with Frike, but you don't have to fight the boss to use it. Uh, we're gonna go fight Thrike, and then we're going to Biome 3. This is, this is gonna be great. We've prepped the hell out of this, uh, of this area, and we're as ready as we're gonna be for Biome 3. I've actually got a lot of good equipment here. It's a pretty good run. As you can see, we already have a di uh, data cube, Leeching Nano Swarm. Really like that one. Personally, I think that's gonna be a little more helpful than this, which is, yeah, Shield Disruptor. I'm hoping that this doesn't... Ah, yeah, okay, it swapped it. I was just hoping that it wouldn't erase our Legion data cube, because that's the one that we really want. So, let's go kick Frike's sorry puny ass, and then let's get our butts over to Biome 3. This is gonna get rough. Hold on to your butts. Well, it's not gonna get rough yet, because, you know, we're still in Biome 1. But once we get to Biome 3, you know, Frike, he's no big deal, but Biome 3, that's gonna get tough. So... 
There he is. This is the, I love this game, man. But yeah, I was telling you guys, you gotta be careful. I, last night, I almost, uh, did the preparations that I did this morning, last night, and I would have lost all that, all that time, because it would have been erased, because they updated the game last night. But you know what? I think the update that they rolled out, I think it fixes the suit problems. If you pre-order the game, that gave you different suits that you could use, but unfortunately those suits were bugged, so you couldn't actually open certain doors if you had the pre-order suits equipped, ironically punishing you for the pre-order. Additionally, um, currently, and the update hasn't fixed this, the multiplayer functions are not enabled, so you're not finding other players' bodies like you would in Dark Souls, or there's no community stuff like Death Stranding. It's not enabled yet. I was wondering why I hadn't seen any of that. All right. Let's go kick this son of a bitch's ass, and then we'll go over to Biome 3. This will be fun. This will be some good practice. Just found this out. Grappling avoids damage. Thank you, Dylan. So this is what I like. By the way, thank you for joining me for these streams. I'm having a lot of fun with this game, and you guys are keeping me alive. Grappling avoids damage. That is, that is good to know. Oh, man. I didn't want to use the pistol for this. I'm not crazy about the pistol because... I have, uh, what? Oh, come on! I totally dodged that. I have trouble using overcharge. I mean, if I'm watching my ammunition like I am right now, it's, it's alright. But, the thing is, you can only pay mind to so many things, you know? If I'm paying mind to overcharge in my ammo count, that's less mind than I can pay to enemy placements or the bullet hell sections, you know? Assault rifles, carbines, hollow weapons, you just hold down the trigger, that's all you need to do. Oh crap, we wasted our alt charge. That's a shame. Oof. He's a little tougher when he gets close. Alright. Now he's getting serious. The first health bar of these bosses, it's just a, it's just a warm up. They're warming up, you're warming up. It's actually very considerate of them if you think oh, if you think about it. They're giving you a chance to get the patterns figured out. So make sure you're paying close attention to those patterns. You're not really gonna have to worry about dying too much until uh the second health bar. You go for another melee? Oh you tricky bitch. But yeah, the reason why we're going after Frike again is because there's a device that we can uh, activate the data cubes with if we beat him. We can get the same uh, data cube device over in the wastes, but the problem is I just don't know where it is. So it's a little faster for me to just take out Frike, and he's not really, he's not really that scary anymore. We've been we've beaten him what three times now. He's a piece of cake. Ooh, by the way, during bosses, sometimes you will be better off not aiming down your weapon. Mobility is one of the most important things you can do in this game. Some people suggest remapping, so currently, uh, R1 isn't used for everything. I mean, it, it's not used for anything. And some people like to remap R1 to dash, and then some people remap L1 to jump. Personally, I'm not going to mess with my muscle memory. Not at this point. Man, we still haven't beaten a boss without a... We haven't gotten a flawless victory on a boss yet. We've gotten hit at least once every boss fight, which is devastating to my morale. Oh, fuck. Okay, that was, that was just sloppy. I dodged too soon. Don't get nervous, we're gonna be fine in Biome 3! Alright, this is just a warm-up! Oh shit, he does a double- Oh! Okay. Okay, you know what, I was getting overconfident. God! Alright, alright, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. This pistol overcharge, I really do hate it. No sweat. I wasn't worried for a second! 
Especially not at the end there when he actually damaged me twice in a row. What do we got? A new artifact. Fantastic. Let's see what this thing is. Murmuring Cocoon increases the positive effects of parasites. Ah, oh, that's good. If you guys are just joining in, welcome. Welcome, guys. I'm loving these streams, and I'm really happy to be uh, uh, sharing this game with you. And I'm really happy for all of your <laughs> suggestions and tips. So, we just defeated Frike again, if you're wondering why. Uh, I've been prepping before this stream for about an hour and 40 minutes, and I found a couple of data cubes, two data cubes. Earlier, I showed you guys the hidden wall thing. Always, always going to be a hidden wall somewhere in your ruins. It's going to be randomized, so you don't know where it's going to be, but behind those, data, uh, behind those hidden walls is always a data cube, and you can uh, redeem or activate that data cube here after you defeat Frike. Oh, sorry, no, here, <laughs> after you defeat Frank. But, um, we found an incredible data cube. Sometimes you can find multiple, we found two. This data cube is leeching Nano Swarm, and the important thing about the data cubes is it permanently unlocks these for future cycles. What's this item? Ah. Alright, here we go. Nice. Check it out. We just got Leeching Nano Swarm unlocked permanently for all future cycles. This unleashes a swarm of nanobots that attack nearby hostiles, slowing them down and repairing integrity. This is a consumable, and I think this is a pretty good one. Uh, let's go ahead and switch out our alt fire coolant. That's pretty sweet. I was actually hoping that was going to be an artifact, but it wasn't, unfortunately. Now, you can only use these once, I'm pretty sure, these machines here. So, we have another data cube, but we couldn't bring that data cube to that uh, device because we've already used it. Alright, we're ready. Let's head over to Biome 3. Although, I'm thinking about grabbing that data cube real quick. Yeah, what the hell. Let's grab it, it'll take two seconds. Oh, by the way, check it out. So, this has been a very fruitful, um, min-max buff run that I've been on. If you look at my integrity bar, you'll see that I have two resin slots. That's because I found this amazing suit artifact that reduced the maximum number of resin that you need to increase your integrity. Which is... Honestly, one of the most helpful suit artifacts I've found, especially how early I found it. Really saved me a lot of time. You can uh, have that bonus integrity bar be larger than your base integrity bar. Hmm. You know what? Games like this remind me of card games. And that's awesome. So check it out! We just grabbed that other data cube. This is the room that I was talking about. The room that's in every ruins behind a hidden wall that we've already destroyed. Always check for those hidden walls. Okay, now we've got pretty much everything we need. Before we head over to Biome 3, we're going to uh, heal up at the Helios, and we're going to check out our house. Because we can open the door. The key, once again, works. As far as I can tell, I'll see you later. As far as I can tell, each biome allows you to re-enter the house. I don't know what we're gonna find this time. I think you find a different, important item each time you enter the house. And then that item is purchasable at fabricators. Like the astronaut figure that we found the first time we entered the house, we can now purchase the astronaut figure at fabricators, which is incredibly useful. So, yeah. It's getting exciting. I really like this game. And we're making some huge progress. Very exciting. I appreciate you guys watching out. Everybody was saying, go to the Helios! Heal! Yes! Man, if I forgot that, 
Oh god. <laughs> I would be so pissed. I mean, listen. We're probably gonna die at some point, but... If we forgot to heal at the Helios, we would die pretty goddamn soon. Not only that, but I'm gonna try to not get hit as long as possible, because it only takes two resin for us to increase our maximum integrity now, so it's more important than ever that we don't get hit. I saw somebody on the Returnal subreddit, his integrity bar was like, um... He had like 260% integrity, alright? Let's say your integrity bar, when you spawn, it's at 100%, right? Well, this was at 260. Alright, one more time. It's only a little chunk of health, but... I mean, you should... You guys should know by now. That little chunk of health is the difference between us losing this two and a half hour... Or this two hours that we've prepared. Not only that, but, you know, the whole resin thing, so... Yeah. Let's watch it. Is resin that green stuff? So, resin is what increases your health. Your maximum health. If you're below maximum health, so if your health bar has some damage to it, then you're going to be able to find resin, which increases your health, and silphium, which heals you. Resin is obviously more valuable. There we go. But when you're at maximum integrity, or maximum health like we currently are, then uh, all silphium is resin. And there's a lot more silphium than there is resin by default, so if you turn everything into resin, then, you know, you're gonna be uh, increasing your max integrity left and right. Okay. It's zero hour. Let's remember what this game is. This game is gambling with skill, alright? The game is betting against you, and you are betting against the game. But, it is inevitable that the house will win. It's inevitable that you will die. We have prepared for two hours. Before I started this stream, I prepared as thoroughly as I possibly could. We, or I scoured this entire ruins map spawn that I had. We defeated Frike. Alright, we got two data cubes out of this thing. And we've got some excellent uh, suit artifacts. Uh, our gun is trash. <laughs> but we're as ready as we can be. So we're going to head to Biome 3. But first, we're going to stop by Selene's house because it just unlocked. Between every biome, or after every biome, we get to re-enter her house. Also, I was wrong about this thing. This thing's important, okay? Uh, this allows you to unlock... It's a new item every time. I didn't realize that. It might be a sewer artifact, or it might be a, a consumable. Let's see what it is. New item unlocked. It's a suit artifact, I think. Key Retriever. 25% chance to retain a key on use. That's awesome! So now this is gonna be a drop. We just permanently unlock the drop. Well, you know what? I, I don't know if this is permanent until we actually complete the cycle. Shit. Well, if we complete the cycle, it's definitely permanent. I think it would say if it was permanent without cycle completion. So it may not be. Well, whatever. Let's enter the house. Every time you enter the house, it unlocks a new permanent item. And those items are usually fantastic. These are the psychological horror sections. Shit. Looks like Pet cemetery in here. Fog seeping inside. Am I not the only thing that can enter here? Well, Celine, that's a very creepy thing to say. You know, I don't like how many pills. <laughs> Look how many pill bottles there are. They're, it's, it's, it's littering the house. It's like, it's like she held a, an EDM festival here. I've got a theory about this game. I'm thinking the final boss is going to be Celine. I just hope it's not all a dream. Yeah. 
and left retribution roaring through a wake of dead stardust. Exactly as the fog pouring from the funerary urns Ma had predicted, for the first time since the ship's fatal accident, Tally felt alive. They are burning to ashes, she admitted in a detached voice no longer her own, feeling the bulkhead against her pinned shoulders reverberating as another god guttered into smoke in the engine's cre crematorium. You will not get him back. Gods and titans, ashes upon ashes, my ship is dying, I am dying, but you will not save him. They are all trapped behind a lock tighter than Tartarus was deep. Rage, loathing, impotence. She felt them all, like the unpredictable hot winds of her desert homeland. Wash over her from the astronaut's unseen gaze. It knew she had won. Tally awakes again, but this time in a pool of blood that is mostly not hers. This time, in her time, Past and future be damned, slumping on the ground, she looks down the hallways. The astronaut is gone, probably in another failed attempt to break the autopilot subsystems. She had to some extent respect for it, for it being as driven as she was. Her starship would crash, that is inevitable now. The descent is predictable, its mathematics a sickening prophecy. But if there is an outcome remaining, assuming she can have the words of it interpreted another way by Oracle. Amid the destruction spreading from the hole pierced to the hole of retribution, Tally Akron finds her center. The blood soaking up through her pants is absorbed into her veins. Heart rate quickens near the thrill of adrenaline, the unconscious patterns her fingertips lightly draw into the aether. That which destroys now creates. There can be no paradoxes in a world without end or beginning. Everything is permitted in my domain. In the astral, she turns the regret-rusted key in the lock, the door opens, solace. Now returning to the hallway where she chased astronaut to the shadow-stained gate, though the barrier pushed her away before, she finally has the means to compel entry. Mother's ire, smothered fire, I affix each one. Glory, reignite the sun. Tally in tones, silence. Glory! The booming voice of Oracle, ten million whispers united into the unyielding force of eternity. The sun-faced totem evaporates from Tally's second sight. The pang of loss grips her soul feebly, then likewise is gone. We must forget to remember, we must leave to return, we must die to live. And the gate shimmers to transparency, allowing the first mortal passage in countless millennia Tally descends into Pythia's inner sanctum. Each step, eternity's weight. Her name whispered. She finds the throne. Illuminated by a single beam of golden light, she sits. She wills herself to be Oracle, for only the single instant it will take to disintegrate the world, sanctioning retribution to pass unharmed, though the cost will be. So Tally is definitely Selene. Right? It's talking about the ship. It's talking about live, die, repeat. Yeah. You know what? These books are actually good. In the interest of time, I was going to skip reading them in streams, but I'm very glad that I didn't because the more I play this game, I 836, it's still the same time. The yawning void still disallows our entry. Anyway, uh, the more I play this game, the more I am drawn in by the story and the lore. Oh shit. That's never been opened before. Looks like something opened it by force. I don't think we can go upstairs. No. The yawning void doesn't allow that either. Is that urn smoking? Is the fog coming from the urn? Yo, this is some PT shit right here. It looks like a dead mimic. Oh, it's an octopus. You know, the planet is said to draw on your fears. So maybe this isn't a dream, but rather the dream is real. <laughs> or the nightmare is real. That's a good theory. 
I considered... The last time we were in Celine's house, we read a, retre a rejection letter to the astronaut program. And I considered... Um, oh my god. Fuck, that scared me. I considered uh, if the letter was real, and maybe that would be, you know, partially her insanity, explaining all of this, including those pills. But, could it not also be uh, the planet preying on her fears? Fears of rejection. Oh, that's not right. What are you doing? Wake up. There's another person walked around in this house on the fucking shit. Is this your mother? was an astronaut. Her mother died in a car crash? The television was talking about a forest. Whenever Celine sleeps, she dreams. Sometimes she dreams about a forest. I believe I've also seen a car crash in some sort of a vision. I'm starting to... I understand sections of the story. I just don't know where to put the sections. And I don't have the full picture. I really enjoy these house segments. Um, the first one I was like, alright, this is cool, but with each subsequent time we enter that house, I really like it. Really like it. I, this is the game I didn't know I wanted. Okay, so every time we enter the house, we unlock a new unknown artifact, and these are very, very useful, usually. And they're permanent. Between cycles, so even if we... Spaceship model. Personal item seems to have a positive effect on Dash. Yes. Oh, yeah, look at that. We've got the orange dash. 
I believe there are purple beams that you cannot dash through unless you have the orange dash. I might be wrong about that. But, uh, oh yeah, this is good. Okay, guys, we're ready. We've been preparing for two hours. Most of that I did before I started the stream. However, we got some good shit on us. And we're ready for the next biome. This is biome three. Everybody says this is where the game starts getting difficult. And you know what? They're goddamn right. Um, I'm going to check in on the shop real quick before we go. Because I'm... I'm pretty sure we got everything we want, but just in case. Oh. We got 300 uh, obelites, so we should have enough to buy something. Okay. Enhanced calibration, I think we'll go for that. At low integrity, gain plus 15 weapon damage. That is excellent! Let's go for it, because this could be the thing that saves our ass. I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. By the way, welcome guys, you're just in time. We haven't entered Biome 3. We're doing so presently. That dash looks so cool. Anybody have any... Uh, the purple beams hurt like hell, even if you dash through them with the orange dash. Okay. Anybody know what the... Uh, Orange Dash does? Is it just improved or does it have a special effect? So, really quick before <laughs> I swear we're going to Biome 3 ASAP, but I want to test something. This is Frike's Lair. We've already slain him and we slayed him so we could get this Data Cube um, activator right here, this Data Cube activator machine. And, uh,. You can reuse it! Okay, wow. So, we found two Data Cubes. Um, alright, sweet. I thought you could only deposit one data cube into this machine, and that was it. But it looks like you can deposit as many as you wish. That's weird. I was so sure that you could only deposit one. 25% chance to break shields with normal weapon fire. Nice. Nice! That's really good. Okay. Well, we don't have, like, a... To be fair, this is just from one biome, uh, but we don't have a complete golden run. However, we have a really excellent foundation. We've got awesome artifacts, uh, really good equipment here. And let me just check these data cubes. It says we have three data cubes right now. I don't really understand where the other data cube came from because I'm pretty sure we just had two. But I would be remiss if we didn't take advantage of one further opportunity at our disposal. You guys are going to hate me for this. You guys are going to be... This is going to be very unpleasant. I apologize. But... God damn it, we're going to the Crimson Waste. Just real quick! Besides, we haven't visited the Crimson Waste since we unlocked the third biome. But... Hear me out, alright? You guys don't know what it's like. Or maybe you do. Maybe you have played the Crimson Waste. But if you haven't, you don't know what it's like. Trust me. The drones. Oh, God. The drones. Oh. The drones are murder. Okay? Listen to me. They've got missiles that deal insane AoE. They suicide kamikaze you. They, they fly straight at you and uh, they suicide bomb you. It's terrible. Oh, yeah. Level 5. So, if we were level 0 weapon profici proficiency, that would bring us up to level 5. Um, it doesn't really bring you far beyond that, as far as I can tell. Alright, let's rock and roll. Third boss was easy sauce. Yeah, you know what? I've found that a lot of the bosses... I, I don't think that they're as difficult as the regular enemies. Oh, yeah! We got the grappling hook! Hell yeah! Man, I love this game. This is gonna be so badass. Oh, those things, by the way. These, uh, orange mimics. The, uh... These things give you obelites. So destroy them as quickly as you can before they disappear. They're not harmful. They just give you obelites. That's it. Alright. Damn it. 
I don't even see that. So, the thing that's most difficult so far about Biome 3, we've been there, we've fought there. Personally, it's the drones for me. <laughs> Specifically the drones. I hate those things. If you shit, if you find yourself having problems with uh uh flying enemies like those purple bats, specifically the ones that activate this melee attack and they dash at you, you're not gonna like the drones. Because it's the same concept. Basically, it's it's an attack that you have to dodge with absolute perfection. It's a really small window. The telegraph is big. In fact, I would argue that the telegraph is too big. There's such a thing as a long telegraph that's actually detrimental. Because if the telegraph is too long, uh, it, it becomes really difficult to determine when uh, you need to dodge. Because your dodge is a, it's a really small window. Really small window, especially with the drone missile systems. And because the missiles take such a, a long time getting to you... Uh, oh yeah, we have Leech. I totally forgot. I was wondering, why are we at max health? Anyway, the missiles are really, really slow until they're just about to hit you and then they speed up. And that's... That, that's a tricky situation. It's the same with the bats. Uh, they're... They're really slow and then they speed up right before they're about to hit you. And when you have five different waves of missiles all doing that at the same time, it's a bitch. Not only that, but the drones themselves will launch themselves at you. And all of this does AoE. Let's take a chance. Ah! Collect parasites. Oh, shit! That's... Oh, no. Oh, this is literally gonna kill us. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna try to dash as quick as I can in quick succession, alright? Holy shit, that's how long it takes me to dash. That's... <laughs> I just screwed myself. <laughs> we gotta find a parasite fast. It's a little harder to find parasites in... Oh, God. I don't recommend the spit maw. I mean, slugs... Slugs make it more bearable, for sure. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Greatly reduces max integrity? That's ridiculous. No way in hell I'm picking up that parasite. That is an extremely punishing parasite. You know, I think that's the most punishing parasite I've found. It takes you an incredible amount of time to increase your maximum integrity. That's not worth it. Not at all. Watch out for these areas. Once you're in the Crimson Waste, these are, oh fuck, quite often going to be boss battles. Man, if I didn't get hit, we would be made in the shade. Look at all these integrities. Look at all these integrities we'd have. Oh, that's a shame. That really is too bad. What the fuck? What attack was that? How did he hit us? Man, that sucks. That really sucks. Oh, God. Look, it's a watch. Check this out, though. We found this amazing suit artifact that uh, lowered the resin needed to raise your max integrity. Now we just need two resin to raise our max integrity. God, that would have been so sweet! We'll treat that as a warm-up. Ground Surge is amazing. Um, currently we have, uh, Leeching Nano Swarm, which I should have used against that enemy just now. Damn, missed opportunity. Oh, that's really good. I'm gonna go ahead and swap these things out for, or swap my Translocation Sphere out for these Ground Surges. These Ground Surges will save you. It impales the closest hostile, which basically means it freezes it while dealing damage. The freezing is what's valuable here. And... Damn it, it's another Spit Maw. Um, proficiency levels aren't everything. We have a level 5 pistol, but look at the stats. Look at the alt fires, that's most important. 
That parasite is good. It's a revive. Oh, wait, wait. This is a... I thought it just takes a blow for you like a shield. Survives a killing blow. Shit. I see. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. That is good. I misread... <laughs> I misread that. Um... Yeah, there's no reason not to use this. This is literally, uh... This is like an astronaut figurine. Okay. I mean, we can, uh... No, no matter what, if we detach this thing, we're gonna lose our... So we'd better use it. Okay. I was gonna say, we could detach it if for some reason we decide to, but we can't. Only on death! But here's the thing, if we accidentally detach this parasite... Whatever. Fuck. Alright. Okay. We basically got a free astronaut figurine. It's making me nervous, though. <laughs> you guys are right, that is worth it. I appreciate you letting me know that I completely misread that parasite's description. That really is worth it. Wait, what? No, really, what the hell was that? I've never just found a, a, a random cutscene like this. Welcome, if you're just joining up, uh, we're going to Biome 3 ASAP. It's just that I would be remiss if I didn't take advantage of the Crimson Waste. So, we're, if you look above the mini-map, we got a cycle timer. I prepared for about an hour and 40 minutes, and I... <laughs> I drained the first biome. I drained the ruins. Now, we're not gonna fully drain the Crimson Wastes, but we are gonna make this into, into a golden cycle before we move on to Biome 3, because Biome 3 is no joke. And we are going to kick Biome 3's ass. We're gonna make it our bitch. But, in order to do that, uh, we really should... Are you kidding me? I dodged that! Shorten's all fire cooldown by two seconds. Oh, that's good. Totally worth it. Celine's breaking just about every single rule in the. Damn it! Alright, that's trickier than I thought. She's breaking every rule in the sci fi handbook. She's sticking her, her, her arm elbow deep into every single alien orifice she finds. Uh, at least she's got her helmet on, you know? That's something. So what exactly did we find here? What is this obelisk? Alright, if you guys could do me a favor and explain what we're supposed to do with this thing, I'd appreciate it. We had a cutscene here, and... Celine made a big deal about this obelisk, and it's not that door down there. No, it's, it's gotta have something to do with the glyphs. This is just coincidence. It's the obelisk that the cutscene was about. In fact, we've got an icon here. Um, oh, that's the fabricator underneath. So what is this thing? I don't know. We'll return to it. If you guys in the chat room say it's worthwhile, but... I can't see anything special about it. Let's get out of here. So far, I feel like three is the longest. Also, I still can swim. So, right now, I don't have the item that you need to swim, but I'm guessing you're saying that the swimming thing is permanent? There's something that you would think would be a permanent unlock, or at least I would. It's called Balanced Blade. The Balanced Blade is something that you have to purchase for Obelites, but it's, it's not permanent. You lose it on death, which is a 
damn shame. I don't know how to get that in the ruins, because in the ruins, there's a very prominent gateway that you can only open if you destroy... Oh, you know what? That's right, you can go back to the ruins from the Crimson Waste, where we currently are. Okay. I'm pretty sure you cannot bide in the ruins, though. And... That kind of answers my question. So, never mind. Greatly increases max integrity. Increases malfunction probability. I think this... Unless they're exaggerating on the Great Lake, I think this is worth it. <sighs> Still. Still. Wait, what is that? 15%? Alright, that's not worth it. Um, weapon drops aren't really affected by how long you're playing, it's affected by your weapon proficiency, so we don't want to make our drops permanently worse by picking that parasite up. Red Xenoglyphs has failed to reveal any symbolism behind statue wrapping. Suffocation. Imprisonment. Metamorphosis. I enshroud myself and hide. My shadows look everywhere and deeper. Perhaps they were simply trying to bandage themselves and heal, then transform into something greater and ascend. Prepare as long as you can. It's true. Patience is at the co it's the crux of this game's gameplay loop. Not just in terms of preparation, though. Um, when you're in battle, patience is gonna it's gonna do you wonders. The last thing you want to do is panic. The longer you play, the better you play. Oh fuck! Okay, I'm gonna treat that as a warm up. This is why we're not quite in biome three yet. We're gonna go there soon, but uh. Yeah, that was a oh god, a rookie mistake. Watch this, watch this attack that he does. I'm gonna wait until he does it again. See this? Watch this. See how it's slow and then really fast at the end. That's the danger of chapter three. All right, biome three, right there. Those missiles especially are a, fuck a perfect representation of the bullshit drones, the bastards of uh biome three. I hate those bastards, man. Okay, we actually lost a ton of health. Jesus Christ. And he's got an attack on death. What a jackass. Okay, I've lost a lot of health. We really bungled that situation. But the thing is... <laughs> it's better to do it in the Crimson Waste. Uh, Biome 3, you can... Those drones... Those goddamn drones, they can wipe out two integrity bars. Alright, like right here, we've got two integrity bars of equal integrity. So we've got double health, we've got 200% health, right? Well, those drones can wipe out 200% health like that. I'm not exaggerating. Okay, look at that. Rockland Lobber, that's uh, a weapon that we discovered in, in the ruins. In the ruins, I don't know if it's always the rock land, but there's a weapon that you can discover once you get the grappling hook. So if you aren't, if you're not this, if you're not exploring the ruins after you progress to the second biome, you're definitely doing yourselves a disservice. Not just for preparation, but also because there's guaranteed data cubes. I believe every single time you cycle back into the ruins. There's a brand new data cube, and data cubes are huge, hugely important. They're usually behind, or they're always behind hidden walls, but you can find data cubes outside of those hidden rooms as well. So keep an eye out for them. We have a 20, we have an artifact that gives us a, 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 excuse me. <laughs> My mouth's a little stiff today. We have a data cube, or, Jesus Christ, <laughs> I'm having a minor stroke. Ah. Uh, I've been playing too much Returnal, but I can't stop! Anyway... I think it's an artifact. It gives us a 25% chance to break shields with normal weapon fire. We're gonna test that out. Bam! Look at that! That's amazing! That's incredible! We've got some great artifacts. Look at these guys. They're a piece of cake. If you're using a fully automatic weapon like a carbine or an assault rifle, or even a hollow. Oh shit, what is this? 
I haven't seen those that early in the Crimson Waste. In fact, I don't remember seeing those before Biome 3. That's the really cool thing about this game, the replayability is off the charts. Once you finish a biome, the other biomes change. Plus 20% chance for hostiles to explode upon death. This doesn't... This doesn't mean friendly fire, so... Totally worth picking that up. How many obelisks do we got? Ah! 339, not bad. I also have a suit artifact that gives us plus 5% weapon damage for every 200 obelisks we possess. By the way, something that's really important to note. Ether. You can only carry a maximum of 30 ether at a time. So, if you're close to 30 ether, or if you're at 30, find a way to spend it. I recommend, uh, you can only do this once per cycle, I believe. So, in the ruins near the Helios, there's the obelisk near the exit. It requires three ether, and what it does is it gives you a brand new undiscovered item, and that will become permanent once you finish the cycle, but basically it gives you new items. And that's incredibly useful. I was wrong about that obelisk. It's well worth the price. Highly malignant container. Very valuable items. I'd say this is worth it. I don't know if that's worth five ether. So I'm going to take a risk. Damn it! Hostiles leave behind acid pools on death. All right. This is actually well worth it. Ah, oh, shit. I mean, this is a... I was hoping for an artifact. This is very good, though. It's a leeching nanoswarm. You know what? I'm an ungrateful son of a bitch. That's a fantastic item. This slows down enemies and gives you health. I don't know what I'm complaining about. And now we have two of them. But that's a really easy malignancy that we've got there. All right. Let's see where this goes. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, never mind. Made it to the summit again. Hell yeah, this is uh, a shortcut back to the ruins. So if we want to leave the Crimson Waste, this is how we do it. We want to stick around just a little longer in the Crimson Waste because... Look at this, we just got ether. So much good shit. I'm taking this run very seriously. We've got some excellent artifacts. It's not quite a golden cycle, but that's what we're working towards. Once we're at golden cycle level, we're going to move on to uh, uh, biome 3. Now, there's not really a reason. We're almost at the boss of this biome. The boss of the Crimson Waste. There's not really a reason for us to attack this boss again. So, I'm not going to do that. I think he's just... Yeah, he's just up there. <laughs> yeah, no reason for us to do that again. Unlike the first biome, if you defeat the biome boss of the Crimson Waste, he doesn't have um, a data cube processor, so there's really no need for it. Shit. Oh, we can use this. Never mind. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what a tremendous leap that transportation gave us. Man, I can't even zoom in far enough for that thing. Oh, damn, chat room froze. There we go. Go to the next place! Alright, I tell you what, I'm gonna give us 10 minutes. When the timer reaches 2 hours 41 minutes, we're gonna move on to biome 3. Until that time, you better believe I'm gonna I'm gonna prepare us. I'm gonna prepare us for this this whole dangerous run we got ahead of us. Having completed this game, I would actually advise against doing Biome 2 when trying to complete Act 1. You're guaranteed an item that levels your current weapon proficiency to 9 at the start of 3. Fuck. So Biome 3, that proficiency to level 9. If we, if we engage Biome 2, do we lose that proficiency booster at Biome 3? Or are you saying that it would just be a waste to up our proficiency here? Because I'm not necessarily looking to up the proficiency. That's a waste of time, by the way. We don't have the required item to complete it, so we're not even going to go there. But we're not really looking to up our proficiency here. Instead, we're just looking to grab some artifacts, maybe some data cubes, stuff like that. 
But that would really suck if I just uh, disengaged the level 9 proficiency booster by coming here. By the way, chat room says that whenever you're... Moderate chance. Mm, not worth it. Chat room says that whenever you're grappling, you are immune to damage. So that's very important to remember. If you're in the middle of a battle, uh, <laughs> remember to grapple. Grappling's good. Oh, great. No. Okay, we can still grab the level 9 booster, even though we've entered biome 2. Sweet. Thank you, Zachary. Wait. It's not going to give me nine levels? <laughs> Shit. Also, check this out. This is good shit. Oh! Clever girl. Any more where you came from? Yeah. Man, I love this game. It's a damn... Oh! Acid pool! Got me. It's a damn shame this game's a PlayStation 5 exclusive, but honestly, I mean, it could be on Xbox, but it couldn't be on, uh, PlayStation 4. And it's not just because of the DualSense, it couldn't be on PlayStation 4 because... Oh, shit. Got an alien. It couldn't be on PlayStation 4 because the PlayStation 4 doesn't have an NVMe SSD. It's not just processing power. This game really benefits from the high-speed storage of the PlayStation 5. It, it's a game that really is built from the ground up for this system. Alright. Fantastic. Fantastic. Alright, we're really, uh, we're really rolling now. Some people are suggesting that so, there's a couple options in the menus, and you can enable auto sprint, meaning that you'll always sprint no matter what. I don't recommend that because it really does uh, make platforming more difficult, but more importantly... Mm, that's good. Look at that. Wow. It's a good thing we're here. This is why it's imperative. Listen, you guys don't believe me. You want me to go to Biome 3, and I want to go to Biome 3 too. But Biome 3 really makes this biome look like a walk in the park. This is baby stuff. This is Fisher Price the biome, all right? Biome 3, we think we're hot shit. We could literally die in five seconds in Biome 3. All right. Let's focus on not taking any damage whatsoever. Taking damage is seriously a major detriment to us right now. We're trying to work for oh, upping our maximum integrity. I tell you what, for these missiles, dodging back. Ah, oh, god damn it! Dodging backwards is a uh, really, really good idea. Fuck. Because as long as the missiles pass through you, you're good. While you're dashing, I mean. You're good. <laughs> Man, we took a lot of damage there. I guess we are rusty. Tell you what, um, I'm not going to use any integrity. If we find any, I'm going to use my leech swarm. Ah, oh, there we go, Hollow Seeker. This is my favorite gun in the game. It's really incredible. I'm not going to say it's OP, but what it does is... Shit. It takes your mind off of uh, careful aiming. You don't have to worry about <laughs> aiming quite so carefully when you have the Hollow Seeker. It frees you up for pay att paying attention to more important things. Uh, I should have used the hollow, I mean the leech swarm. You know what? I'm gonna save the leech swarm because that actually may be more important than um, raising our maximum integrity. Because it can, it's, it's clutch. It can save us if we're about to die.
Man, I gotta turn the AC on. My palms are getting sweaty. Knees are strong, however. Knees are good. But palms, very sweaty. Shit! That was close. Fuck! Oh, oh shit. Woo! Oh, not even close to done, huh? Nope. Oh, God. I don't know where the other one is. But damn, I'm nervous. Oh, oh! Where is he? <laughs> oh, this thing. Great. I love this thing. You guys remember Zoids? This looks like an organic Zoid. Jesus. Wait a second. How is he healing? I noticed that his... Fuck, he's fast for a big guy. I noticed that these health bars were green, but I didn't realize why they were green. Um, no thanks. I don't like the pistol simply for the fact that I have to pay more attention to how much ammunition I have. Here, Hollow Seeker, all that stuff, I, I sound like a broken record. I'm repeating myself so often, but I just hold it down, and then if I'm holding the trigger down, it's impossible to engage override accidentally. Or overcharge, my bad. Sick! Look at this! We just got two integrity levels. Two and a half. And an unknown item. Execution rush. Melee kills briefly increase speed by 25% and protection by 25%. We need to remember this, guys. If I'm forgetting to use melee, situationally, of course, you know, we shouldn't risk our lives for it. But this is going to be really, really good for us. We've got some excellent suit upgrades. Excellent suit artifacts. A couple of data cubes. We're sitting pretty. You know what? I would feel good about moving on over to Biome 3 now. I mean, you can prepare all day, you know? At some point, you gotta face the music. Look at that! Another integrity increase. No, my bad. We needed one more. I got this awesome suit artifact that requires only two resin for integrity increasements. Wait a second. Can we stack some of these augments? Because I've already got these. Well, I already have the alt fire. Alright, let's see what happens. So, those are artifacts. Where are the augments? Okay, there we go. Permanent equipment. What? Suit augments. That's weird. So, we can only carry three more. Are these worth it? I would say that's worth it. And I would say that's worth it. Alright, what exactly is protection? Because it's... <laughs> it's not very descriptive in my opinion. It says protection. Um, does that mean... Because it's not health, it's not integrity. Oh, fuck! Oh, you bastards. Oh, you absolute bastards. <laughs> Spawned right on top of me. Uh, the items they dropped are terrible. Yeah, you can stack augments. Okay, that's good. Wait until you get the item shown in uh, B2, then you can buy an astronaut for B3. Right, item room. Well, we got plenty of money for that. If you look carefully, sometimes you can see the astronaut watching you. What, are you trying to freak me out? I just got here. Why is Returnal harder now? Booker DeWitt, welcome to the live stream. Well, uh, Zone 3, Biome 3, whatever you want to call it, the Derelict Citadel, that's where the game actually starts. If you ask me. Actually, everybody agrees. Biome 3 is possibly the hardest biome. Biome 4 introduces these Cthulhu-looking characters, and they're really difficult, but... The drones in Biome 3, the f Biome 2 and Biome 1, they're really easy in comparison. <laughs> really, really easy. Alright, um, you should go back and pick up all items. Yeah, so that's another school of thought. Don't pick up any of the chests, or don't open any of the chests, uh, don't... Yeah, really just the chests, you can open the rooms, but don't open the chests until you've already raised your proficiency a good deal, because that is going to help you get better weapons. Um, so what do we do? Do we buy these? 
It's alright, but bleed damage. Okay, so I'm not going to get the protection augment in that case. Damn it, guys! I, I, you're supposed to tell me what protection is. What am I supposed to look things up myself? All right, I'm gonna buy this. Let's go. Let's go. We're taking too much time. Okay, so now we have two slots left. <laughs> Wait, what? We still have three slots left. Um, let's, let's check, let's check in on this. So, uh, we had, it reduces our alt charge by two seconds, right? Where is it? I don't see it here. Is it, uh, maybe it's not listed there. Is it listed in status? Oh, there it is. All fire cooldown, mon negative four seconds. Fantastic. We've got plus 10% protection right now. I still don't know exactly what protection is, but um, how do you get the leeches off? If you want to get parasites off, you're either going to need... Some parasites automatically detach after a certain time. Other parasites, um, you'll need to use an item or a specific, uh, like, very tall cylindrical structure it will detach parasites for you those are artifacts not augments okay it says stat oh it's literally a stat augment not a suit augment i get it protection is your stat sheet all right how much is it 200 want to save our money <laughs> we took so much time there i apologize <laughs> Look at that, we just increased our health bar again! Whoa, mama. What's this? Interference sphere, no thanks. Anything back here? No. Alright. Back to the top. Alright, protection is just damage reduction. Okay. I just want to make sure. Let's get out of here. We found some excellent things, though, very recently. Um, you know what? We haven't investigated this area yet. We got a secret cage. So I've heard that these secret these secret cages they require switches, and if you're aiming, and if you're looking in the right direction of the switch. You'll hear a specific noise, and that noise is telling you you're looking in the right place. Personally, oh, there it is. I haven't actually heard that noise myself, so I don't know how that works. Mm, you know what? Hold on. I forgot to check and make sure that my sound is no longer in surround sound. Great. We're good. Presumably valuable items. Ugh. That's probably going to give us an item, and we already have all of our item slots filled up. Not worth it. This isn't going to be worth it either. <laughs> no. No. You did more prepping than me. The Citadel biome is so damn long. Yeah. I've heard that. Oh shit, a data cube! Fantastic! These can unlock items permanently. Deposit into a matching device, blah blah blah. Silver lattice data cube. I don't know what this silver lattice is, but these data cubes are almost always worth um, finding the uh, data cube processor for. So there's a data cube processor behind Frike. In fact, we could just go back. You know what? We don't have to worry about finding the data cube processor for uh, the Crimson Wastes because there's one behind Frike, and we already beat Frike for like the fourth time. So once we're going to Biome 3, we have to go through Biome 1, the ruins. 
We can just uh, make a stop by Frike. Pick it up. I don't recommend the thermogenic launcher. It's cool, but it's a little too long. The projectile speed. It's a little too slow. I don't recommend using it. You do you! Everybody's different. We all got different strategies. But... I don't think it's so hot. Parasite. One additional kill required to increase adrenaline levels. <laughs> no, that's not worth it for me. <sighs> Try not to get hit. Oh crap, there's a turret in there. <sighs> Close one. I love these mimics, man. These mimics are a good time. Alright, let's take these turrets out. I hate these bastards. Ah! Take your time. These battles, I uh, I like to view these as a fast-paced RNG chessboard. You're not gonna die taking your time. I mean, you <laughs> you could, but it, it's not gonna put you in more danger than panicking would. We already have an item. This isn't gonna give us an. No, it could give us an artifact. You know what? It's worth it. This whole game is gambling. Come on, baby. Come on. Ow! Oh, man! Double suit repair and efficiency. Okay, so that would be completely useless to us right now. We could bring it with us if we wanted, but I would have to swap out my ground surge. And I happen to really like ground surge. Oh, shit! We gotta spend some ether. Uh, you can only carry 30 ether, so... Past that, whatever ether you find is going to be wasted, unless you can find a way to spend it and come back. So, don't let yourself get to 30. Just spend it somewhere. I recommend those, um, I don't know what they're called, they're reclaimers. Yes! Here it is, this is what I was talking about. How convenient. Reconstructor, I recommend spending it on this, but keep in mind it only works for one biome, the specific biome you use it in. So if we went to another biome, that 6 ether would be wasted. I'm going to use it for, uh, uh, Biome 3. Yeah. Listen, if we find an astronaut, we're made in the shade. we got a parasite right now that will, uh, it'll save us from a killing blow. If we use a reconstructor, that'll also save us from a killing blow, and we have an astronaut that'll save us again. So we'll have three get-out-of-jail-free cards. No astronaut here. Melee kills generate two energy bolts that hit the two nearest hostiles. We have three suit artifact slots left. Let's choose carefully. I don't think any of those are worth it. But we should be using our melee. Blade balancer is key. Not only does it do its description, but it also allows you into certain rooms that you couldn't get into otherwise. So we got no choice but to buy that. However, I really want to buy this. Oh, man. That's expensive. So, altogether, we would need, uh... <laughs> okay. Shit. We would need 575. Man. Decisions, decisions. Hey, Siri, set the air conditioning to... 69 degrees. You know what? We're about to run out of ether. Oh, this is perfect. I can't believe I just remembered this. Okay, how much how much will this give us? 200 obelites. Great. 5 ether. That's kind of steep, but we're about to run out anyway. Uh I'd say this is worth it. All right. Great. Now what happens when we reach 10,000 obelites? I think that's going to make it more expensive. I don't know, I'm just guessing. Wow, how convenient. That's the first time I've used it. That's the first time I've used it happily, too. Well worth it. Well worth it, mate. That's good. That's really good. Look at our health bar. Oh, our health bar is insane. Oh, God. Speaking of insane, shit. Ha 
<laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, I pick and choose the battlefield. Don't forget to put things between you and the enemies. That's another thing. The drones, they're not too smart. They're none too clever. So, there's an item you can get that can let you swim underwater. That's key stuff. Anyway, yeah. Drones aren't too clever. Remember to... Oh, shit. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. We increased our health again. Wow. Oh, God. What was I saying? Right, the drones, they're not too clever, but they're really dangerous, so make sure... That's a good carbine. These are two of the best weapons in the game. Make sure that you put as many obstacles between you and the drones as possible. It's gonna really help you stay alive. Some people are suggesting that you uh, turn auto sprint on. I don't recommend that. Yeah, you don't have to think about sprinting, but the thing is... You don't always want to be sprinting. It seems attractive. And I guess in a way it is, but here's the problem. This is a bullet hell game, okay? Uh, if you're sprinting really quickly all the time, that's gonna make uh, bullet hell navigation way more difficult. See this? All this shit that we're walking amongst? Fuck! Whoa, God, that was close. That's bullet hell. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Damn. Look at these particle effects, man. That's so fun. Sometimes you want to be able to walk slowly, all right? <laughs> and you don't want to have to think about, okay, I gotta just barely press the stick. No. Everybody's different, but really, I recommend leaving it where it is. Fuck. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh! Alright, we gotta settle down. Damn! Oof! He's kicking our ass! These are my least favorite attacks. The missiles he shoots out that start slow and go fast. It's my nightmare. Those right there. Shit. You see that? We dodged correctly. For some of the missiles, but not all the missiles. So we, uh. We missed out on some of those. Damn. That's why I don't get overconfident. What's this thing? <laughs> Thermogenic launcher? I don't think so. It's an attractive weapon, but it's, um. It's not the smart choice. Smart money's on carbine, hollow seeker, and, uh. Is there an assault rifle, or is, it, is the carbine the assault rifle? I don't remember. Item fabricator. No. I don't think so. He doesn't need to buy health. Yes! Alright! This is an amazing, amazing device. This allows you to recover your in integrity and increase it simultaneously. We're not going to use it yet because we've got another door over here. I swear we're going to go to the next biome really soon, but... <laughs> That's why you get the blade balancer. Right there. Those secret passageways. It's not really a secret passageway. Um, those orange barriers. Blade balancer destroys them. And it increases your melee damage. All around a good purchase. Anyway, we're going to go back to that bed once we've lost a little bit more health. <laughs> Ideally, we won't, but... This is a roguelike, okay? It's an inevitability that you're going to take damage. Shit, 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 shit. Jesus Christ. You can treat this guy as a proto-drone. He kind of has the same attacks as the drones. He's just not as powerful. Obviously, this biome treats this enemy as a fairly powerful enemy. Patience is key. I'm not being patient enough on these dodges. Anyway, this biome treats this enemy as powerful, but... Uh, this enemy's power is standard enemy power in the next biome. <laughs> I gotta stop talking about the next biome. You guys get it. I'm repeating myself. That's just how scared I am. What's this? Ether, beautiful. 
Now would be a great time for us to find and use malignant resin. Because if, if it damages us, it's really... Ho ho ho! Look at that bonus damage! The stats are more important than the than the level of the of the weapon. To a degree. Obviously, if a level if a weapon's level zero, then you know. But if it's level eight and you got a level ten or eleven, but your eight has better stats and better alt fires, stick with the eight. How is this game? Is it Dark Souls by any means? Hell yeah, baby, LOL. Nah. This game's actually really different from Dark Souls. So we could gamble here. What the hell? Let's give it a shot. This whole game is gambling. Ooh, that's actually good. It's an undiscovered item. This game is so big. Wow. This will help us with our... We want to start using melee more often because we've got some great perks related to that. So, yeah. Let's see how much space we have. We have one free artifact slot left. We gotta start being picky. Anyway, I really wouldn't say this game is very much like Dark Souls at all. At first, I kind of assumed it would be, but... It's a bullet hell game, which means that RNG plays way more of a factor than it does in Dark Souls. Additionally, it's, you know, it's range based instead of melee based. I guess that's more of a simple difference, but still. Another thing that's different is that, um... I would say this is... I don't even know if Dark Souls is considered a roguelike. Maybe a rogue light. <laughs> but this is a roguelike. In in the purest sense, this is a roguelike. If I died right now, for instance, I would lose three hours! Holy shit! I would lose three hours of progress. I would have very little to show for it. I unlocked two data cubes, which is nice. But, man, I would lose three hours of hard work. Check this out, alright? I've got two parasites on me. I like the parasites. I want to keep the parasites, okay? I got uh, 135 obelites. I've got one key. I've got all these artifacts, these consumables, and this weapon. And I've got um, the stats. You see the stats there? All that I would lose. Everything I just talked about, I would lose. And my health! I've got... I've got 268% health and 9 weapon efficiency. I would lose literally all of that if I died. Dark Souls isn't quite like that. So, that's another difference. But yeah, the, the major difference is, uh, this is a bullet hell game. Which puts it practically in a different genre than Dark Souls. In some ways, that makes it more difficult. Obviously, Dark Souls is extremely difficult. Um, but the difficulty in Dark Souls comes from the fact that enemies are kind of like a puzzle. You have to figure out the enemy. You have to understand it. You have to understand its AI and its patterns and its combos or what, what have you. Where you have to do the same thing in this game, but uh, there's also a ton of RNG involved by its nature of bullet hell. All right, check this out. This is spoiled resin, but the thing is it doesn't matter if it inflicts damage because we've got that bed. Damn it, it inflicted damage, but it doesn't matter because we got that bed. Damn it! Man, that RNG hates us today. This is the best cycle I've ever had. We are truly golden gods. And if I die, it's going to be the most painful death I've ever suffered in Returnal. Oh shit, it's a red bed. You guys told me these are almost always worth it. It can damage integrity. That's fine, because we have the green bed. Alright, let's see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't get rid of our parasites. <laughs> what a weird sentence that is. Oh, damn. Wait. Wait, what happened? 
Oh, item. Hey Siri, set the temperature to 68 degrees. Ah, I had my vents closed. Fractal nail. Grants plus 10% weapon damage while you have a malfunction. That's good. But I'm not going to use it because we only have one space left. So, I'm ass I don't know what happens when you fill up your artifacts. We haven't done that yet, but I'm assuming that's... We're going to be locked out once we do. So, yeah. Not worth it. Oh shit, we can't use that. We have to be near a fabricator to use it. Okay, that sucks. We're gonna keep our hollow seeker. We got a really good weapon right now. Okay. Um, if we want to, we can move on to the next biome now because... Listen, there's a lot more we could maximize here if we wanted. I'm con I wanted- you know what, I think I might leave this up to you guys. If we were all hanging out at my house, I wouldn't dictate everything. We would have to dictate things as a group. That's what happens- that's how it works when you're hanging out with people. The group decides. So, what do you guys think? What should we do? Should we continue maximizing our character to give us the best possible chance against Biome 3, which is where the- Everyone agrees, Biome 3 is where the difficulty begins. Additionally, Biome 3 is longer than any other biome in the game. Uh, biome 3's enemies are... <laughs> they're fucking cheap. Pardon my language. They're honestly so cheap that they may be patched. They may not be. I don't know. I'm not saying they should be patched, but they are a little cheap. So, what should we do? Third biome. Biome 3. Biome 3. You guys aren't the ones that are gonna die. Um, you've said this for an hour, literally. You need to move on. Damn, that's that's harsh. I got talked down to by my by my mom. <laughs> you said you're gonna go to bed an hour ago. You have to wake up for school tomorrow. Stop playing games. Turn Call of Duty off. Oh god. Getting PTSD. Yeah, I guess you're right. Biome 3, biome 3. Okay. Alright, so in Biome 4, did anyone else come across the ball from the beginning of the game? Oh yeah, I've heard about the ball being in Biome 4. It's dangerous. Okay, we can go straight to Biome 3. How many obelites do we have? 150, 150. Let's uh, go to... Oh shit, look how cool this weapon looks. Look at that. I'm gonna bump up the bitrate, by the way. You know what? It's good where it is. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna bump it up. It'll make the game look a little better. Uh, we're gonna head to the shop, and then we're gonna go to Biome 3. Alright, Biome 3. The chat room has decided. <laughs> Guys are making me nervous. We have spent three hours preparing. And you know, the last time we spent this long preparing, um, we just steamrolled, so... Uh... You know what? We should save our money. None of this is worth it, turns out. Okay. Okay. So check this out. In order to go to Biome 3, we have to go through Biome 1. So on our way to Biome 3, through Biome 1, the ruins, we are going to make a pit stop at a very special friend's house. Frike. We're going to stop by Frike's house. We found a data cube, so we're gonna, we're gonna engage the data cube. That's a permanent unlock, alright? It's important. Damn, that's cool. Wait a second. Oh shit, never mind, it doesn't bring us back to biome 1. Fuck. That's fine. Fuck. This is literally striking fear in my heart. Oh god. Biome 3. Are we ready for this shit? 
I tell you what, I'm gonna, here, look at my stats. I'm gonna grab a slice of pizza, be right back. I'm also gonna get some more water, so uh, two seconds. Holy shit. Sorry. Damn, look at dog coin. To the moon. <laughs> to the moon, Alan. Mm. Oh, that's good. That's very good. I'm very tempted to buy some, but I'm not going to submit to FOMO. I'm going to wait until there's a dip. I'm not a financial advisor, but dog coin's going to get to a dollar within a year. I, I guarantee it. Just keep in mind it's gambling. <laughs> or an investment, depending how... <laughs> depending uh, how um, much you've fooled yourselves already. No, I, 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 I like cryptocurrency. Decentralize the banks. Anyway, Biome 3, here we go. Derelict Cit Citadel. Derelict Citadel. This is where the game difficulty really starts. 25%. We've seen this same parasite like four times now. Go slow and methodical. Take your time. You're right. Don't finish the entire slice of pizza for good luck. All right. I'm watching it. We've got most of the slice available. Oh, shit. Uh, so these things are obelites. Fuck. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even gonna wor worry about the obelites. Uh, if you destroy the... Jesus Christ. If you destroy those glowing things... They give you obelites. That's what, th that's the, that's the point, that's their purpose. Jesus Christ, these things are eating my ammunition! God! Mm, 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 mm. I really hate these guys. Biome 3 is full of automatons. And they're really, really dangerous. We gotta focus on keeping that adrenaline up. The, the adrenaline is, um, <laughs> it's so vital. It really is. Don't view the adrenaline as a bonus. View the adrenaline as important as your integrity bar. Especially if you have as many pseudo defects as I do, I've got a lot of modifiers that um, <laughs> rely on my adrenaline. They either boost my health or boost my damage. Additionally, I'm pretty sure this little uh, thing on Celine's shoulder, uh, it fires these little blue homing missiles. And I believe the higher your adrenaline, the more homing missiles it fires. Look at that. Suit integrity increased. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a portal over here. Yeah, all right. We got a choice to make. Oh, I think there's also a glyph over here. No, not this time. It's randomized, so every time um, you're gonna be entering into a different world. All the parts are handcrafted, but the elements within each handcrafted part, randomized. The structure of the whole map, randomized. 
Oh man, these things are really dangerous. Let's make sure we're ready. Oh god. What does the uh, blue plus sign mean next to our proficiency? You see that? Does that mean that we have, if we die, uh, we get revived immediately? Is that what that symbol means? Because we have a parasite that will revive us on death. Biome 6 has an enemy which if it hits, it has a chance of causing a malfunction. Holy shit. I had, in the air, negative 60 damage, while stationary, 40 damage. Wow, that's a weird malfunction. Okay, here we go. Let's rock. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Malignant key, probability high. Um, what's gonna happen here? Can we only open one door? I can see what's behind the doors, thanks to the mini-map. Oh, okay. Uh, we only have so many keys. Alright. We got two keys if we grab this one, so let's do it. Kill ton hostiles. Suffer damage on overload! Wow! It's an easy one to get rid of, though. We just don't have to use overload. Or we have to not use it. Okay. Um, so, the middle is a fabricator. And... This is two items, and this is three items. I don't know if it's completely random, or if we're, the three items is less likely to have good items, and the two is more likely. Uh, what do you guys think? What should we use? Type middle, left, or right. Alright, middle, left, or right. Damn. Woo. When's it gonna dip? It will dip. Don't you worry. It'll dip. It'll dip at some point. Damn, though. God. Why couldn't I have been born psychic? Mid-door. Mid-door. It's the best door. How do you know that, Zachary? Mid-door. The left one screws you over. Because it has three items? Middle and left. <laughs> Wait a second! A couple of people are saying left. But Zachary says the left one screws you over. Left, 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 left. Everyone's saying left. Why? Who do I trust? Oh, what the hell. Oh! Look at this, we got three parasites. Hmm. That almost seems worth it. Okay. <laughs> I'm kind of considering these, but the thing is, I'm, I think long falls, it doesn't necessarily just mean the falls where you do a superhero landing. I think it also means if we fell off the ledge here. Sometimes if you fall off a ledge, it just doesn't deal damage to you. I think it's timer based. I don't think it's like, I don't think it absorbs like if you have a shield, because we fell without a shield. No, that's not true. We fell with a shield, it didn't eat the shield, but we didn't take any damage nevertheless. So... I don't know if I should grab those parasites. Ooh, that's very good. You guys are right about the middle one. I died like 20 times through biome 1 and 2, then once I cleared biome 3, 4, 5, and beat the game all in one go. The pylon driver with webs is OP. I haven't found the pylon driver yet. I'm going to keep a lookout for it. We're still so early. All right. Long falls Oh yeah, they do mean superhero landing, but I think they also mean, uh, if you fall off a ledge, right? Um, you don't have that many superhero landings, so... That one's not worth it, but this one might be- you know what? Screw it. <laughs> Grab them all if you're not a bitch! Rich, rich! I think you're the- I think you're the person I shouldn't be listening to. Just dash before you land and you'll be fine. Now that's a good point. Let's grab it. What about this? We have similar already. Oh, we can't pick up two suffer from long falls, I guess. Look at us, we're covered in parasites. That's disgusting. Pretty soon we're gonna start looking like one of the enemies from the first biome. Oh my goodness. Look at you. Two seconds.
All right. What is this, another parasite? <laughs> yeah, let's not go for that. Okay. I'm gonna take one more look at dog coin. See what it's doing? Jesus Christ. It's gonna hit 50 cents, isn't it? I'm gonna just take one more look. And then I'm not gonna look at it again because this biome is ridiculously hard. This is where the difficulty truly begins. Okay. Let's go. We've got a pretty good setup. Ah, oh, shit! It's the drones! Fuck! 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 Oh, God. We're hit already. Shit! Holy shit. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Fuck, I hate these things. The missiles are... Fuck! Look how much damage we've taken. Sorry, I'm... Cussing like a sailor, but oh no! <laughs> oh sh shit! Oh shit! All right, we gotta be <laughs> we gotta be careful not to yo oh, use overload. Oh my god! Oh my god! Run. Fucking run. Shit. Oh! What the fuck? No. Okay. 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 Shit. Jesus. Holy fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh! God! I'm panicking. I'm fucking panicking. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus! No! No! Doesn't even taste good anymore. Fuck! Holy fucking shit. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Jesus Christ. <laughs> ah. Fuck, I'm sweating. I'm fucking sweating. My whole fucking body is sweating right now. Jesus Christ. God damn. Fuck. Are you goddamn kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck? I prepared for three fucking hours! Three hours! It was all in vain! Fucking drones. The fucking drones. What the fuck did I tell- You know, it's a good thing I didn't prepare any longer. It just would have been more- more goddamn time wasted. Three fucking hours. All of that's- I gotta, I gotta, I gotta cool off. I gotta cool off. All that time was wasted, man. All of it. All of it. Three fucking hours. Three. Three hours. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ.
I got my ass handed to me. Yeah, I did. What the, what the fuck? What is wrong with me? All right. I got to cool off. <laughs> what did I tell you about those drones? They're so cheap. They're so fucking cheap. They're s They're so fucking cheap. The, the missiles that they shoot out are just absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. You see these bats right here? These are the ones that I'm talking about. If you hate these bats, you're not ready for Biome 3 once you love the bats. Once you love them and their, their bullshit fast attack, then you're ready for Biome 3. Did you see that shit? How long did I last? How long did I last when the, when the fight first started? To my death. A minute? A, a goddamn minute? This whole game was in vain. Just admire the scenery. <laughs> oh my god. Massive, you should have taken a step, step by step. Let the enemies come to you and not grapple to their den. I was trying to run. Um... <laughs> I was trying to get the hell out of there is what I was trying to do. I mean, it turned out to be a stupid move, but that's what I was trying to do. All right. I'm going to do a really quick run through here, and then we're going to move. We're going to skip the wastes, and we're going to go straight to the Citadel, because you know what? I'll tell you what's more important than all the artifacts we got. Practice against those goddamn drones. Those three artifacts... We don't need- we don't need no fancy smancy soup bullshit. We're gonna move straight to the Citadel after here. And we're not even gonna- we're not even gonna clear this whole biome out. I've got this problem where my thumb keeps hitting the touchpad. That doesn't affect anything, it's just annoying. Am I still having fun? Yeah, I'm still having fun. The game's great, it really is. I just... It's painful sometimes. You really gotta be a masochist to enjoy this. Ugh. God damn it. At least we got, like, three data cubes out of it. Data cubes are permanent. Man, that was some bullshit. I'm so pissed. I feel like the more you prep, the harder uh, RNG is. You know what? I have no idea if that's right or wrong, but it wouldn't surprise me. <sighs> is it still locked? It is. I tell you what, though. <laughs> Motherfucking RNG, man. It's it's not worth um, over prepping. We over prepped. We're not gonna under prep this time, but we're not gonna over prep either. It really isn't worth it. Well, I mean, sometimes the thing is, sometimes it's worth it. Sometimes it's not. God damn it! I keep hitting that touchpad. That time it definitely wasn't. But you see what I mean about individual enemies being harder than the bosses? I'm probably jinxing myself, but I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make a bet. The boss of Biome 3. I'm going to beat it in one go. And it's not going to be too tough. That's my bet. Because the individual enemies, like those, those drones, that's where the real difficulty lies. The individual enemies are way tougher. I think you prepared, but without the real knowledge of what you're getting into. That's the sad thing. I had full knowledge of what I was getting into. We've 
Uh, we haven't gotten very far, but actually, I think we got as far as the item room. So we got as far as the item room, and then we came back. I've been there a couple times, is what I'm trying to say. I mean, I haven't been been to the boss, you know, I haven't beaten the biome, but we've been to the biome a couple times. We've fought a fair variety of enemies, <clears throat> including the sphere thing. So, yeah, I knew what I was getting into, but even still, God, I hate those things. Those, that's what I was talking about the whole stream, though. Uh, the subreddit wants them nerfed. I don't know if they need to be nerfed. So far, so far, every enemy that I've encountered that I had a lot of trouble with, um, I no longer have any trouble with them. <laughs> Except for the drones. But every other enemy... The ones that, the giant one with the tentacles in this realm, in this, uh, in the ruins. The one that looks like a mimic from Live, Die, Repeat. I had a lot of trouble with him when I first started playing. He killed me, I want to say five times. But, and now he's a doll. He's a piece of cake. He's a sweetheart. Softy. I mean the bats! The bats still get me, but aside from that, you know, I'm wondering if eventually it's going to come to the point where I'm playing Biome 3 and I'm like, why was I so scared of you guys when I was growing up? <laughs> You're nothing. Alright, check this out. I don't know if it's going to be in the same place, but... Alright, it is. This is important. You see this thing here? This is a fake wall. You destroy this thing. There's a fake wall in every... It's going to be randomized, but in every ruins biome, every new cycle anyway, there's going to be one of these fake walls. And they contain a data... What the fuck? It doesn't have a data cube anymore. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, there's usually going to be a data cube there. Maybe once you find use the data cube from that wall and actually activate it, then it disappears? Hmm. Damn. Someone on the internet said that uh, there's a data cube every time, but I guess it's every time until you actually unlock it. Nevertheless, if you haven't unlocked the data cube from that in Frike's Chambers or in the Crimson Waste, go ahead and uh, go ahead and grab it. Those are important. Uh, you know what? Let's go a little bit further. We're going to teleport back to the Helios, heal up, grab the health, and then get back to Biome 3. We're going to skip Biome 2. You just have to know how to deal with the enemies. From an academic perspective, from a clinical perspective, yes. Theoretically, all you need is to deal with the enemies. All you need to do is do it perfectly, but some enemies are harder than others, and those enemies are very tough. Um, specifically, the drones. Uh, that seems worth it, but that's kind of pricey. We're gonna buy the astronaut figurine. Specifically the drones. They're some of the hardest enemies in the game, and when you have them in great numbers, uh, they're exponentially more difficult. It's not linear. It's exponentially more difficult. It's harder to dodge, uh, harder to find a good window for attack, etc. So, I wouldn't say it's just as simple as learning their attacks and understanding them. Um, in fact, I would argue that those guys are permanently difficult. Because even if you learn that stuff, it's hard as hell to manage. The more drones that we had coming in on us, the harder it was to stay alive. <laughs> Managing them is just 
really, really difficult. Ooh. Alright, we're at five adrenaline. Damn it, he hit us. Alright. Let's see. Oh, you know what? There's gonna be a weapon passed here. Let's see what it is. Well. It's not always about the uh Proficiency level, but as you can see that was proficiency level two. The reason why it was is because we are proficiency level two That's why if you're gonna be doing long-term preparation Don't open chests Until you're pretty much cleared with the biome if you can help it Because if you can wait until you're pretty much cleared with the biome then every chest is gonna be much more valuable All right, let's go buy that astronaut there's another data cube on this level. It's the room with the platforms that- Yeah! Yeah! That's right! That's- So, last cycle, we got two data cubes out of the ruins. And one of the data cubes was in the room with the platforms that retract into either side of the walls opposite you. And for me, it was on the left. It probably switches it up left to right. But for me, it was on the left. So, in the last cycle, I got both of the possible data cubes in the ruins, I guess. That's pretty good. Hmm. Okay. We got the astronaut. Let's go back to the Helios. Let's heal real quick. We're not gonna max this out. This isn't gonna be a golden cycle. We're gonna go back to biome three, but we need a, a, at least a little preparation, which means we're gonna pick up all the health that we avoided. We haven't picked up any integrity. We've saved it all for this. Big dip with dog coin. It, it's literally gambling. Be very careful with things like dog coin and uh, stocks, of course. If you kill the boss in biome 1 and die before the boss in biome 2, do you have to start all the way over? Okay, this is a good question. If you kill the boss in biome 1 and die before the boss in biome 2... Uh, I got a question for you guys. How do cycles work? Excuse me, I'm sorry. I hate eating on stream. It's very rude, but I'm very hungry. Okay, how do cycles work? That's something I'm actually not clear on. How do you finish a cycle? So the, the developers said that cycles take around two hours. Um, as far as I know, I have not yet completed a cycle. <laughs> How do you complete a cycle? I don't get it. I really don't. What's down there? Bottomless pit? Hmm. But... Um, yeah, how do you, <laughs> does it work? So you start over, but you can skip B1, right, that's how, that's what I thought, so if you kill the boss in biome 1, and if you die before the boss in biome 2, you can skip the biome 1 boss, you can go straight to the Crimson Wastes, but you lose everything as you normally would. So what the hell are cycles? It's amazing that I haven't really put that much thought into cycles until right now. Is this a valuable chest? Presumably valuable items. I'm thinking the random cutscene you got was the signal of a cycle completed. No. No, I don't, I don't think it was. Maybe it was. 
Cycle is completed when you die. What the hell do the developers mean that cycles take around two hours? <laughs> so, my understanding of it was, uh, is there no place to save, period? A cycle is basically your playtime. Okay, it lasts from when you start playing to when you die, so it depends how good you are. A cy cycles are just runs. Thank you, I've been grateful. Appreciate that. It's a great movie. Okay, so cycles are just runs. Oh, so th when the developers say that cycles last around two hours, they're saying it takes around two hours, ideally, for you to make it to the next biome. No, first three bosses is a cycle. Okay, so I'm getting some conflicting information now. I'm thinking that none of us really know what a cycle is. Ooh. Close. Oh, uh, the worst suit artifact loss is the one that I picked up that reduces the requirement to two. I picked up a suit uh, artifact that reduced the requirement of resin to two resin to increase your uh, your integrity, and that was incredible. We only needed two resin. Now we need three. You can do cycles in an hour. There's a save point after boss three. So you're supposed to... You're, su <laughs> you're supposed to beat three biomes in two hours? Because <laughs> the developers said many times it takes around two hours to complete a cycle. Okay. A cycle is, co is clearing all the biomes. Wow. The developers must be godlike. Alright, we're almost done here. And we're just picking up the rest of the health. To, uh, bump up the integrity. Oh, going the wrong way. Shit. Oh, that's right. That's right. We hit a divergent point over here. I see. Yeah, we're back to biome one. We lost three hours of progress. We're almost done prepping ourselves for biome three. We've got a ton of integrity that we haven't picked up. And we're running back through now to, uh, boost our maximum health. And then we're going to Biome 3. Straight to Biome 3. This is the Crimson Waste. We're not going to go there. But yeah, if you beat the first boss and you die before the second boss, you can go straight back to the second boss's biome through that gate. But we're not going to do that. When you beat Nemesis, you'll get a hard save. Okay. I just can't believe that the developers think that that takes two hours. The developers must be really good. Oh, yeah. This is uh, the area you need to grapple hook to reach it. This is, area that, this is an area that gets you a new weapon. A new weapon that you haven't found before. But, it only happens once, as far as I can tell, in this biome. That's perfect. Obelites appear 1.5 seconds faster. <laughs> like I care about that. I'm f I'm quick enough to go for them anyway. Okay, we got a chest. Oh, it's that chest. All right. If you can't find the little uh, switch you need to hit to open these gates, aiming down the sights. If you're looking in the right area. You'll start to hear a noise. And that's how you find the switches more easily. Or so, that's that's what I hear. But I don't hear any different noises. Even if I'm looking straight at the thing, I don't hear any noises. <laughs> Get a load of this. 
Find salvage more often. All fire cooldown increased by five seconds. Wow. Wow. What nut would use that? What a nut! I'm not gonna get that! Oh man, we don't have balanced blade. You have to get balanced blade. It's not worth it for that, but there's uh there's another door that looks more tantalizing than that one. Um you have to get balanced blade in the crimson waste and then you come back here from the crimson waste, I believe, or you come back here from somewhere. I don't know. I'm starting to lose my mind. Okay, I think we got enough in in integrity now. Um we can move on. We can't enter that door. We can enter that door past the item shop. Hmm. Massive, have you noticed any of your bodies are in ritualistic... That's the first time I had a crash. <laughs> no astronaut outside our window. Hmm. <laughs> I can't believe my game just crashed. God damn it. So these are actually worth it. Uh, this thing gives you a completely unique weapon, and if you complete the cycle, then it unlocks it permanently. Let's see what it is. Oh, shit. Damaged robot. Personal item. Increases invulnerability time after getting hit. Nice. What a useful artifact. Alright, I'm terrified that it's gonna crash again. The game has lost all of my trust. Some people have uh, gotten multiple crashes. I don't know if crashes become more likely, depending on the biome you're in. But that's the first time I've gotten a crash, and man, I'm, I'm fucking terrified now. Can you imagine if we... We spent a good amount of time on that, uh... On that prep run. We spent a good amount of time on that prep run, damn it, and... I can't even imagine if we spent even more time how I would feel. <laughs> it's one thing if you die. It's another thing if your PlayStation, uh, farts. I am not pleased. I am a... I am a grumpy boy. <laughs> I'm a very grumpy boy right now. Damn it. Oh, shit. God, I hate these. Oh. Thank goodness. Woo. Whoa. Did it hit me? Didn't hit me. Good. Oh, wow. Oof. I thought the obelites were an attack. About to shit myself. Ugh. Come on. Shit, shit, shit. Woo. Haven't hit us yet. Fuck. 
That is the first time I've encountered a crash, though, so I guess that's something. You know, I've played this game, how, how many hours have I played? Like, over 10? And that's my first crash! Maybe 8 hours. Fuck. I don't know. Well, we haven't gotten hit yet. What is this? Ho oh, ho ho! I don't think so! <laughs> Reduces melee damage by 50%. Oh, go fuck yourself. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna pick that up. Sorry, I'm cursing too much. I'm losing my cool, but you know what? I feel like we're ready for, uh, Zone 3. I mean, Biome 3. We really should move in with a little bit more health. Honestly, this isn't me being careful, this is just... You really shouldn't. <laughs> I'm, I'm not being funny. Don't go in there with low health. Like, base health like this is- it, it's a joke. Alright, really. 150%. That's the- that's the low end of what I'm gonna enter biome 3 with. That was close. Yeah, 150%'s the low end. Honestly. You don't have to worry about weapon proficiency because the game's got you covered there. But, uh... We're saving a lot of time not getting hit. Because we can just pick up all the integrity and, uh... Yeah. We don't have to go back to the Helios to heal. We can just pick it up and increase our maximum. From the- right off the bat. Shield Disruptor. Oh, that's a pretty good one. Especially in Biome 3, way more shields. In fact, Biome 3 is filled with robots. And the robots can, uh... They can turn shields on. Which is a hassle because you'll see them without shields. I got my first cra- oh shit. Gotta pick these up fast. Ah, damn it! Alright, that's a decent amount. Look at that, we got 216. Oh, no, we got 300. I got my first crash after 15 hours of play. This is one of the best optimized games in years- oh shit! Oh, no! Wait, let's see if it damages us. Yes, it didn't! And we didn't have a shield! I told you, sometimes it just doesn't. God damn it! That's ironic. Fuck. Our first hit. What do we. What the fuck did we pick up? Pardon my language. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> this is one of the best optimized games I've played in years, honestly. So some people have had issues with, um. The pre order suits. If you put on a pre order suit. I think this was just fixed, but it used to be a couple days ago. If you put on a pre-order suit, uh, you couldn't open certain doors, which is a big problem. But aside from that, I mean, there haven't really been any other uh, problems with this game. It has been really well optimized. God. That one hit screwed us. I hate those bats! Oh, fuck! Run, run. The fuck? There's, supp <laughs> There's supposed to be a trap door there. Oh, fuck. The trap door was supposed to, uh, whatever. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Where's that goddamn bat? Where's that goddamn bat? I'm not worried about these guys, I'm worried about the bat. Shit. Oh, fuck! It f oh, 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 it fucking hooked a corner, it fucking hooked a corner! His attack hooked the fucking corner! Oh, yeah. Well, we're kind of stuck in here now, aren't we? There's no health in here to find. Fuck. I don't have any- <laughs> Fuck, they're right outside the door. Shit. Shit! They're right outside the fucking door. I'm gonna overcharge. Alright, you bastards! Get some! He's still firing. He's still firing. Something to remember about the- Fuck. Something to remember about these enemies is, uh... They'll keep firing, alright? 
they lose sight of you or something, they're not going to stop firing. Once their attack stops, I mean, once their attack starts, it doesn't stop until you kill them or until you use some sort of an interrupt. It's important to remember. Fuck! Because once we open the door, the attack's still going to be going on. I'm being very careful right now. I apologize, but I'm not taking any goddamn chances because this game is a game of strategy and gambling. I thought I had my ultimate charged up. Now it is. Okay. Ha! Oh! We didn't have to be that careful, but still. Jesus Christ, that was close. You know, this is a good example. Fuck, I almost had a heart attack. My controller vibrated. This is a good example of levels not being everything. Our shock stream here, great weapon. Uh, bonus damage is good. That's a better weapon, in my opinion, than that carbine. But it depends on your playstyle, of course. But you just remember, especially when it's a difference of one level. Don't pay too close attention to the levels. All right. God. God damn. So, we were prepared for Biome 3. In fact, we were about to head out. And then our game crashed. First time it's crashed for me. So now we're doing a little bit of preparations. And then we're gonna move out. <clears throat> to be serious with you, items, except the astronaut, which is stupid OP, don't matter. The drones are the definition of get good. You know what? You're right. We had three hours of preparation in our last cycle, and you know what? It didn't count for much. Because of those goddamn drones. Those drones... You're right, they're the definition of get good. The items, they're gonna help you, but they're not really gonna save you. I mean, technically, yes, they can save you, but... Don't expect too much. Don't expect them to compensate for you not being able to kill them all that well. <laughs> the dodging of their attacks is so critical. In fact, I would submit that if you just have one of those drones left, leave that drone alive and practice dodging with him. Oh, God! Oh! That's it for me. <laughs> Didn't we buy a fucking astronaut? No, and the game crashed, right? Oh, shit. You know what? I'm going straight to the waste. No health. Fuck it. Straight to the... Straight to the... I mean, the derelict, uh... Fuck it. Straight to the Citadel. I don't even care anymore. Where's the Citadel? Alright, it's to the right. Here we go. Goddamn son of a bitch thinks it can beat me. This game thinks it can wear on my sanity. <laughs> the insolence. Yeah, I'm gonna show it a thing or two. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Wrong room. Uh, the triangle doorways are just treasure rooms. <laughs> I'm literally going straight, straight there. I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care. I really don't. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Is this locked down? Alright, this is locked down, so we gotta fight this one. We got. Come on. Come on. I didn't forget that you're invulnerable to damage when you grapple. Didn't forget that. <laughs> that was that was a that was a rough one. I hate these bats. 
so much! Jesus Christ. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. These bats are just mini versions of the drones. That literally, that's what they are. I really don't care for this pistol. The overcharge is so tough when you're rapid firing. Shit. Damn it! See the uh, the overcharge. Fuck! You bitch! You can hold down uh, the trigger if you want to, but if you're holding down the trigger using the pistol, you're uh, sacrificing like half of your fucking fuck fuck, half of your fire rate. I let these guys build up too much. I should have picked up another gun. We only have the glob lobber. I don't want the glob lobber. What is this, Ratchet and Clank? I love Ratchet and Clank, but I don't want a Ratchet and Clank gun in, in my hardcore roguelike. Fuck. All right, you son of a bitch. Jesus. He's trying to melee our ass. I'm trying to keep a decent distance between us and him. All right. Everyone's dead but him. Let's take care of business. Singular enemies are so much easier than uh, swarms of enemies. Like this guy. He's a piece of cake. Wait, what's this? What do we pick up? Spit Maw. I don't care for the Spit Maw. Mm. Still, it's got a slug ability, which isn't bad. What's he got? <laughs> Thermogenic launcher. I guess it's better than the spit mob, but still. Alright, like I said, we're going straight to the waste. I mean, the citadel. I'm gonna practice fighting those enemies. Even if it kills me. Which it will. You're expected to die in this game as a roguelike, but, you know, you don't want to die so soon. <sighs> Almost forgot my free chest. That's why you want to wait until you're a higher proficiency, if possible, to open the chests, because that was a level zero, because we're a level zero. That's how it works. Check this out. Pro gamer move. Bam. Josh, oh, shit. What's this? Ah, key. I'll take it. Returnal is a system seller. You know what? Honestly, this game is a system seller. There's no game like it. There are games like Dark Souls. Uh, I'm not discounting Dark Souls, alright? Don't attack me. Dark Souls is a genre-defining game. There are games like Dark Souls, though, because it inspired games. For instance, Sekiro, um... Uh... Oh god, I'm trying to think of another one. There, there's many. I don't know why I can't think of... Neo! There's one. I'll just leave it at two, but... There's a lot of games that are like Dark Souls. But this is the... There is another bullet hell first-person game. It's uh, Drunken Robot Pornography. Hell of a game. Highly recommend it. You can pick it up for a buck or two when it's on sale on Steam. But yeah, Drunken Robot Pornography. Great game. Highly recommend it. But aside from Drunken Robot Pornography, I can't think of any other bullet hell games like this. Is I got a question for you guys that have played um, the Sexy Robot Lady game. Um... Near Automata or Near Automata? I don't know the name of it. I've, I haven't looked that closely into the game yet, but is that a bullet hell game? Because I've seen some screenshots and I saw a bunch of glowing orbs heading toward the character and it looked like it was a bullet hell game. Okay, that's the Crimson Waste. We're not going there. I made a promise to you guys I'm going to keep it. We're uh, not going to the Crimson Waste. We're going to Biome 3, damn it. 
Biome 3, my nightmare. Fuck! I didn't realize he was floating. I thought that was uh, another turret. <laughs> I almost stepped off the cliff willingly. There's a chest around here. Where's the. Oh, there it is. Um. Enter the Gungeon, but that, I thought Enter the Gungeon was a top-down. There are bullet hell games, of course, but I'm talking about like a third-person or first-person bullet hell game like this, where, you know, it's as graphically impressive as third-person games usually are. Because this looks great. This is a beautiful-looking game. Nier is one of the greatest games ever made. I'm, listen, I'm really curious about it. So, I've been on a specific gaming kick recently. For a couple of years, I was on AAA cinematic experiences, and I still love me some AAA cinematic experiences, but right now I'm on a interesting games kick with interesting game mechanics. And uh, Yakuza, I'm working my way through the, through the Yakuza franchise, playing Yakuza 0 right now, legendary game, but Japanese developers, really different from Western developers. Um, let's see what we have. That's not bad. Yeah, uh... Yeah, let's use it. I hope I don't come to regret that. Oh, shit. Oh, we just gotta collect the parasite. That's perfect. Yeah, we'll collect the parasite in no time. Is this resin? Oh, silphium. Hmm. Come on, RNG gods, damn it! Alright, that's easy. We just gotta kill some hostiles. Shit. Did you see how far we zoomed in? What the hell was that? Also, what the hell's with all these enemies? Damn it! I hate those bats! Uh, the window for dodge on these bats is ridiculously small. Oh shit, there's a turret too. Fuck it, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I hate these fucking bats, man! Is this a sniper rifle? What the hell is this? Kill sight. Ugh! Sorry, that was really loud. Wait, um... Kill site is a uh, single shot that zooms in to deal extra damage to weak spots. Oh, I hate it. No way. No, that zooms in too far. I'm close range most of the time. So that's terrible for me. What the fuck? He came inside? Oh, I swear to God, if he fucking kills me. My house! My home! Where I eat, where I sleep, where I come to play with my toys. What a knob. What happened while I was gone? It says nine minutes into the cycle. Oh. Well. We died and then it crashed. It's the basics of it. Hey, Blade Balancer does spawn here. It's just really unlikely. Um. Tempers and protection, that's okay. We're really close to that one, we're gonna save up. We still haven't found the, uh... Gateway to Biome 3 yet. Usually, the randomizer puts a little closer to the Helios than it is this time. It's all about timing. I'm gonna laser focus into timing. That's my, that's my personal objective here. Especially while we're dispatching these weak enemies. The 
The turrets are great for practicing timing. But the thing is, the timing is going to be different from enemy to enemy. Shit. It's not letting me dash. It wasn't letting me dash. Okay. We're either going to move on or we're not. Hey, what is this? Is this the doorway we're looking for? Is this the Crimson Waste? No, this is the door we're looking for. Alright, this is the Citadel. You know, it's kind of funny that they put uh, this Reconstructor here because... Alright, that's strange. Nine times out of ten, that's going to be a Reconstructor. You know what? Maybe this is a Parasite we want. No, it's not a parasite this time. The RNG's messed with my head. Some things are randomized, but they still have uh, some weights to what they're usually going to be. Like, the door to the side of the Citadel is usually going to be a Reconstructor. This time it's not, just to screw with me, but usually it's going to be a Reconstructor. Which is kind of weird, because I feel like a lot of people are going to spend some money on the Reconstructor there, not realizing that it won't transfer to that biome. Shit, I should have saved that uh, malfunction sphere. Damn it. We could have picked up some free malfunctions. Shit. Live and learn. Alright, that's to the boss. Uh, where's the store? Oh, that's right. That's why I went here. Went here for a good reason. Sweet, shield vial. I'm not gonna activate that just yet. We're gonna activate it once we hit the crimson. I mean, uh, the citadel. Damn, the citadel's hard. Yeah, ghost! You know what's up. Yakuza. Excellent franchise. But I am curious about uh, Nier. It's supposed to be an incredible uh, series. It's two games. They just released a remaster of the first game. I don't know much about it. It looks like it's a bullet hell game. It's Japanese developers, and something I've noticed is that there's a huge difference between Western developers and Japanese developers. So I've been kind of into uh, Japanese games recently. After playing so many cinematic games the past few years, it's really nice to have games that are more focused on, uh, gameplay mechanics. Superhero landing. I'm stuck at Biome 3, bro. Aren't we all? Mmm. Okay, let's get over to the shop. Actually, let's walk to the shop. I'm seeing some health in front of us. We just need one more to raise our max health. I promise, we're not min-maxing this. I simply... am doing this on the way to Biome 3. Could've sworn I hit that. I don't care for the thermogenic launcher, but that is a big stat difference. Is the whole game this dark? Oh, shit! Fuck! I was looking at the chat room. Uh, no. Fuck. Hey, Massive, look up. Ah! Oh! Oh, shit. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> no, 
It's meant to be dark. Um, once we reach biome three, it's gonna be lighter. Oh god. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> I can't do Biome 3. I had to stop playing. Biome 3 is rough. It's it's really rough. We're on our way to Biome 3. Like I said, I promise we're not going to take too much time to get there. We're walking to it, and that's it, okay? That's it. We just when, Once we walk there, that's, that's it. We're going to hop right in. That's true, each weapon type has modifiers, and the modifiers are locked until you get a certain amount of kills with them. And then the weapons will be more useful, sometimes vastly more useful. But, there are hard and fast rules nevertheless. For instance, the pistol, uh, it's always going to be faster if you tap fire, rather than hold down the trigger. Which means it's always going to be harder to consistently hit the overcharge, especially under pressure. So, in my opinion, that completely writes the pistol off. Pistol is no longer worth it under any circumstances <laughs> for me. Because uh, overcharge is huge. There's, there's abilities and suit modifiers that make overcharge even better. So if I can't consistently use overcharge, I don't want the pistol. Same school of thought as to why uh, weapon levels aren't everything. Wait, what, what is this item? Ooh, reflex stimulant. That's pretty good. Yeah, this level looks a little too much like alien for me. Really? Yo, statistical, you're gonna have to break that down for me. How can it look too much like alien? You're not a fan of alien? I love alien. Kinda looks like Prometheus too. And Prometheus too. Alien Covenant, I mean. <laughs> they brought back the alien name. That's uh, a little transparent. Jesus fucking Christ! I dodged right into that. Uh. Take your time. If I took my time, that wouldn't have happened. Oh, this is the boss. We don't have a data cube, so it's worthless for us to fight Frike again. I already fought him like four times anyway. Um, so... Okay, we're gonna teleport. <laughs> That's gonna be faster. Oh, yeah, this, this game is a kit bash. Listen, it's not just inspired by Alien and Prometheus. It's inspired uh, by uh, Edge of Tomorrow. Otherwise known as Live, Die, Repeat. It's... Oh, shit. I'm using this gun. Fuck. Let's just get out of here. It's inspired by... Stargate? So many, so many sci-fi properties. So many sci-fi properties. Don't skip Biome 2. It's better to do than 1. You'll be more ready for Biome 3. Yeah. Yeah. I've done everything right in the past. And where has it gotten me? Right back here. I'm gonna do something wrong. Biome 3. We're entering it right now. Godspeed. Godspeed. Uh. Ah, oh, fuck. What did I just that Doesn't matter. It's already activated. <laughs> Alright, let's get in there. Is this going to give me my weapon proficiency uh, upgrade? Thank god. Okay. Proficiency level 9. Can you give me a gun, please? <laughs> it's a thermogenic launcher. Oh, that's the last gun I wanted. 
Thanks. What parasite do we have right now? Auto repair is low integrity. Okay, um... We'll grab that. Well... We'll grab that. We might need it. I'm not super keen on it, but... Oh, fuck. <laughs> Look at all of them. Look at all of those bastards. Jesus Christ. So these guys can, uh... Yep, there, there he goes. He just put a shield around himself. It used to be in the other biomes, enemies would have to spawn with shields. They don't do that anymore. Uh, they can give themselves shields. Gain a shield after the next three hits. Detaches afterwards. Triggers two malfunctions on detach. Hmm. No. I don't think so. You know what? I'm gonna grab that health. That'll, uh, increase our maximum health. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. We're gonna go low and we're gonna go slow. Because we didn't... We didn't do much preparation for this. What the fuck? Never had that happen before. Tell you what, we're gonna have a test in front of us. Uh, there's a portal over here to a challenge. And... If it's a combat challenge, this is going to get interesting. Oh, no, it's this challenge. This challenge has killed me in the past. Oh, okay, that's not so bad. <laughs> that's not so bad, huh? Ooh. Oh, fuck. Let's just take it slow. Let's take it slow. <laughs> oh, fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. I could go back in there, but I could literally die. Oh, I have to go back in there. Eliminating hostiles is a 10% chance to repair integrity. That's incredible. I have to pay for this shit? Be calm. Be calm. Dash is disabled as soon as we're on the inside. <laughs> oh, we're so screwed. So, we prepared for three hours. We had, uh, 280% health, I think. Um, we had a ridiculous amount of artifacts. It was a golden run, okay? Three hours we spent preparing. Two minutes into the... In, <laughs> into the shit. Too much into hell. This is hell. Into Biome 3. We died. Three hours of preparation. Golden run. We died. Two minutes into combat, because of these fucking drones. And I've lasted- I've been in Biome 3 before. I've lasted like an hour, or more than an hour in Biome 3 before. But... It's a bitch. It's a bitch. We're gonna have to take a risk. Fuck! Oh! Welcome to pain! Shit. This fucking gun. This fucking- This fucking- This f Fucking gun. Use cover. Use fucking cover. These things are stupid. Oh shit. Fuck. Thank god he's dead. I hate those things. When when they're in great numbers, uh it's really difficult to dispatch him. It's, uh, it's a shit sandwich and a piss sandwich. I don't even know how to make a sandwich with urine, but that's what it is. I don't like either of these guns very much. If you're just joining, welcome. Basically, let me give you, give you the rundown. We spent three hours preparing. We, we had a perfect build going. Uh, didn't count for anything. We died two minutes into this, into this biome. 
even though I've played this biome before and lasted over an hour. And then on our second uh, preparation run, uh, we had a great prep going and the game crashed. So we decided to say, screw it. Let's just go in without any preparations, which is what we're doing. Despite the destruction throughout this area, the buildings have mostly withstood time's erosion. Whatever the reasons for the conflict, it would appear that this was the high water mark of mutual annihilation. I almost wish I could go back. If only to experience their society across the planet before it collapsed under its own weight. Sometimes Celine just sounds a little too calculating for my taste. There's many different Celines. Question is, which one's the real one? I have a feeling that the final boss is gonna be Celine. I'm bumping up the bitrate, by the way, so the stream should look a little bit better. Uh, the game is gorgeous. This is a game where YouTube's compression doesn't do it justice. Alright, yeah, let's bump this up by a few thousand. Sweet. The reason I'm streaming in 1440p is that this game is gorgeous, but it's not native 4K. It's closer to 1440p at times to keep 60. And it's a pretty solid 60. But, uh... Yeah, this game... Oh! 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 Fuck. The fuck? Ah! What the fuck? The fuck did that come from, man? I'm... in so much pain. How long have we been streaming? I don't even know. I don't even know. How long has it been? How long have we been playing this? Uh... It doesn't tell me. We started at 2, it's now... I thought we'd been streaming longer than that. That's how painful this has been. Jesus Christ, what the hell? There's an enemy up here. What the fuck? Oh, this isn't an enemy. This is, uh, Obelites. Kill these, as soon as you see them. <laughs> A large amount of proficiency on Detach. What a ripoff. What the- would someone please tell me what killed me? In that- I didn't see an enemy behind me. I looked behind me, I didn't see anything. <sighs> what the hell killed me? The thing is, this is a roguelike. You're expected to die. Uh, the game is the house, alright? The game is betting against you. And you are betting against the game. Both of you are gambling. It just depends on your skill, but also on RNG. Who is favored. Drinking wine may help, just saying. What do you want me to wine mom this? Yeah, maybe it would help. It was a turret. It was a turret? Yeah, Biome 3 is no joke. I hate Biome 3, all my homies hate Biome 3. Damn it! Dodge, you got me. Got me. Hell yeah, we just picked up two Sylphi- I mean, uh, two resin and we recovered our Sylphium. That's good shit. All right, we're gonna give this one more shot, and we're gonna try our level best, our absolute best. I'm gonna try to incorporate everything I've learned, and I'm gonna get into the flow. <laughs> like you can just summon the flow. You know when the grease in your joystick is just right? Yeah, you can't just will that into existence. Give me a break. I'm gonna try though. Thank you, Resin Shield. That's very humorous. But I'm still gonna give this 120%. One last hurrah. I'm gonna be streaming again tomorrow. Probably Returnal, maybe a new game that just came out. We'll see.
But I'm gonna be streaming again tomorrow, uh, around the same time as today. Hopefully a little earlier. And uh, because we're about to beat Biome 3 and we're gonna be in Biome 4, I'll probably be alive. You know, I'll probably put the PlayStation 5 in a rest mode. But in case I don't, uh, and in case we die, I'll do some prep before the next stream tomorrow. So we'll be in a good spot. Just looking at everything real quick. Horrendous game? Why would you say that? What don't, what don't you like about it? Well, I mean, okay, so... The game not being to your tastes? I understand that, but... It's, objectively, this is a great game. So... I find that a little confusing. Come on, don't do it! And kill four hostiles simultaneously?! I don't know, I think two hostiles, or at least two hostiles. But four times. Wow. Proficiency gain disabled. Holy shit. That's heavy. That's rough. Oh my god! I was looking at the chat room and I swerved to the right, then I swerved to the left, and then I died. I swear to god. I am gonna bring 120% and this isn't it. This is this is my 70. Four this is my 40%, okay? Past it. Anything I get, I, anything I gotta do, get past it. You gotta love that old fire on. That's good stuff. Yeah, Is that a double kill. Fuck. I hate you. Damn those goddamn bats! Holy shit, these bats. Look these fucking bats! Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, guys. Guys. Oh shit. Fuck! I can't even see. The last two. I fucking panic. Oh, look at this. We accidentally hit the hidden wall. There are strange psychological encounters I've had with what can only be described as visual echoes of previous deaths. At first I avoided them, but I needed to know. When I follow these echoes, they lead to a corpse. I don't feel surprised anymore. Now it's a clinical choice. Repurpose their equipment, or avenge them. I didn't realize my volume was so loud, my bad. I'm not even close to getting any simultaneous kills, apparently. A lot of the double kills with melee are slightly delayed. I can't collect it because our proficiency is disabled. Uh, I wish I had an item that could get rid of this malignancy, but I don't. You know what? I never thought about that, but she does kind of sound like Ripley. Hmm. There's plenty of malfunctions that aren't too bad, so... That fractal nail, that could be useful. It's true, this game is really hard. I recommend it too, but it's really not for everybody. Honestly, you do need a decent amount of time to play this. This game eats time. It really does. I said I was giving this the best shot possible, and I'm, I mean that. I'm gonna go heal, and we're gonna... We're gonna do this thing. Where's the Helios? Where's the 
Helios. Am I right? Oh, it's, it's the other way. Damn it. When, look, when you've played as many uh, cycles as I have, it starts to blend together. You're right, I do need patience. I'd probably be better off uh, actually taking my time again because... That was close. Preparation is key. Over preparation, though, you know, you don't you want to avoid that. Three hours preparation, that's overkill. But a good solid 40 minutes to 50 minutes to an hour, that's, you know, well spent anyway. That's some good prep for Biome 3. I would say that's worth it. Still, uh... For Biome 3, I think practice is going to be incredibly instrumental. It's a necessity, so... You don't want to spend too much time preparing, because... Let's say you spend 40 minutes preparing for... Maybe 20 minutes in Biome 3? I don't know what happened, though, because yesterday we were streaming in Biome 3, we lasted an, over an hour, so... Ugh. I don't know if I'm off today or what, but Biome 3 is majorly kicking my ass. Yesterday, we were in there for an extended period of time, faced all the same enemies we faced today, and more. And then today, uh, you see, <laughs> you're seeing what happens. It's ridiculous. Oh, shit, yeah. Astronaut figurine. Okay. I actually am getting a headache. <laughs> that astronaut figurine, though, that's a great pickup. Hmm. The cycles are starting to blend together. Is this game just one big social experiment with people and psyches messing with time filters? I have so much brain space left that I can't spend any on that theory of yours. I apologize. I only got so much brain space, man. This game's taken a lot out of me. I still haven't played Hades. Um, this is making me really curious, fuck, how Hades handles the roguelike elements. Um, because this game, oh god, I still need to kill simultaneous enemies. Oh, that's a bitch, I forgot about that. Oh no, we can't go to zone, uh, we can't go to the next biome yet. Please, please, simultaneous kills. Yes! Two out of four, baby. Good, 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 good. We gotta get rid of that before we can go to the next biome, otherwise we're not gonna be able to grab the biome's weapon proficiency booster. And we need that. We absolutely need that. We really, we really, really, really need it. We're still stuck at one. We should be at two by now. Oh, this is a major, major problem. Oh, here we go. Yes! Malfunction removed! Fuck, I got hit. Still, malfunction's been removed. Let's grab that, uh, item. Finally. There you are. Come to Papa. Oh, yeah. Almost missed this one. Sweet. Sweet. Okay, now we can go. And I think we probably should go. I don't think we should do much more prep because, uh, we need practice, not prep. Sony messed up. What? Sony hasn't had a demo for any of their first person ex I mean, any of their uh, first party exclusives. Ooh. Hostiles that you've injured drop 50% more, 50 more obelisks when killed. I don't get it though. Don't you injure all hostiles that you kill? Or are they referencing some sort of a. Uh, is there an injury system that I'm not aware of? We don't have the blade balancer, that's why I didn't try. 
Oh, fuck. Fuck. Where the hell did all you come from? Oh, God. Oh, God. Where the hell's my... There we go. Go! 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 Alright, I'm gonna be honest, guys. I think I'm losing my, uh... Fuck, I think I'm losing my mojo. I think today's an off day. We did great the last couple days, but today... And it's not just Biome 3. But again, I did great Biome 3 yesterday. I think I'm having an off day today. I don't know how much... After the... I'm going to do my best this cycle. I really am. But after this cycle, I'm probably going to see you guys tomorrow. I really appreciate all you guys being patient, though. I will beat Biome 3 tomorrow. I may beat it before tomorrow. And then, uh... This is the Blade Balancer. We could grab that, go back for that, uh, door. But I'm thinking instead... Probably spend it on one of these... 5% of damage dealt per adrenaline level. That's pretty damn good. Problem is, so I could go for that, but I'm gonna go for this. The reason I'm going for this is because it's really, really difficult to miss some of those attacks that the drones put out. So, yeah. I'm not gonna be able to keep my adrenaline that high that long. Man, our proficiency is trash. Shit. I love this guy. He looks just like a mimic from uh, Edge of Tomorrow. Look at his awesome tentacle cape. I thought I dodged it. Ooh. What's he got? What's he got? Spitmo? Oh. Still. We'll use it for now. Shit. What is this? Oh, you know what? I like my parasites. Let's keep them. What's up, Bountiful? I'm, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly, man. Here it is! Okay, that's the exit. Let's head over to the next biome. Um, there's a health up here. We're gonna grab that first. There it is. Almost went off the ledge. Not a shotgun fan. I love shotguns in games normally. But, this shotgun, uh, honestly, I don't think it's one of the better weapons in the game. With the slug, with some, with some other, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. With the slug and some other modifiers, it's pretty good. But, oh yeah, Hollow Seeker, it's better. Damn, I forgot they got that melee attack. Okay. I'm slipping. I'm slipping. Anybody have some speed? The slug variant is okay. The spread is too much. So what shotgun variant do, uh, do you like if you don't like the uh, slug variant? Oh, uh, there was another variant. I don't remember the name of it. Oh, you guys. No. I don't think so. 
No. Get the hell out of here, all of you. Let's funnel them. So, what, um... What is this? Blast shell, okay. Damn it! I legitimately hate... Two enemy archetypes. The bats and the drones. I hate them. I really do. Damn it, man. Guys, my mojo. My mojo has gone off and gone away. Shit. Fuck. Hit me in midair. See, that's why you got to have nerves. My nerves left me. I dodged too quickly. Ironically, that ended up uh, doing a lot of damage. Nerves are a very important thing to have in a roguelike. You treat it differently at low health, but there's a certain school of thought that you shouldn't treat it differently. Astronaut. I wasted the astronaut on that. God. I'll be streaming again tomorrow at, uh, like 1 p.m. Central Time. Planning on streaming earlier than today. So, yeah, tomorrow, 1 p.m. Central. I'm still streaming until we die, but... <sighs> Off day. I'm thinking about just beating, uh, part of Biome 3 to... Yeah, I'm gonna practice Biome 3 off-stream. I don't know if I'm going to beat it, because I'm at least not going to beat the boss. I want you guys to be there for the boss. But, I may as well bring us closer to the boss. Definitely get some practice in. So, this is a dead-end room, huh? Is that room always a dead-end room? I don't remember it being a dead-end room. Oh, look, a red bed! Those can be quite good. Sony bought Discord? Or are they just going into partnership with them? <sighs> you don't like this weapon? I love this weapon. What is this? Damaged robot. Increases in vulnerability time. Oh, he's walking. That's so cool. Or is that a glitch? No, I think he was walking. Increases vulnerability time after getting hit. That's that's huge. It's it's especially good for AOE attacks, which is what uh that's pretty good too. But we're gonna spend all of our obelites. So anyway, um, we gotta heal up. We got a repair enhancer here. I'm gonna pop that and I'm gonna go after this repair. Bam. Yeah, that's something. Fuck. Fuck you! Fuck these things! Fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Is this locked down? Oh, no, it's not. Okay, great. Whatever you gotta do, do it. Wow, I, it, 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 it foiled my entire strategy. That's, I'm not even mad, I'm impressed. Shit, dead end. Where's he going, where's he going? These guys can teleport. So, there you have a disadvantage of the strategy I was using. The, the, the door is a shield. Uh, he can teleport through the door as long as it's open, and I won't even notice unless I'm watching my minimap closely. Which I should have been. That was a mistake on my part. When's he gonna teleport again? Oh! 
door. He was firing. I opened the door and he was he was already firing. What happened to the health? Oh, did you just come back? <sighs> Damn. I appreciate that, Nassar. Alright. I uh, unfortunately, I'm gonna be streaming again. Not unfortunately for this part, but I'm gonna be streaming again tomorrow. I hope you guys are able to join me. I'm gonna be streaming starting 1 p.m. Central. 1 p.m. Central, I'm gonna play for a couple of hours. I'm gonna practice between now and then in zone three. I'm gonna practice against the drones. So I hope you guys are gonna be there. I need your emotional support. But yeah, listen, you guys are my good luck charm, or at least you were yesterday. Today you were my bad luck charm. But <laughs> I hope to see you guys again tomorrow. I've been having a blast with these. This game's really fun, but it's even more fun playing it with you guys. So. I hope to see you again tomorrow, and I'm going to be streaming Resident Evil Village on the 6th. No, the 7th. That's right. The 7th, I'm going to be streaming Resident Evil Village. I'm streaming every day this week. So I hope to see you tomorrow, but also for the 7th. Day 1, Resident Evil Village live stream. I'm going to try to hop on my... Hop on top of the Helios. Oh, we got it! This is as far as we can go. Damn. Alright, <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for joining me for this stream today. If you enjoyed, leave a like. If, if, if uh, you thought I died too much in this stream, leave a like. <laughs> and uh, subscribe to join our live stream family. Like I said, we're going to be streaming every day this week. And I stream almost every day now anyway. So, yeah, I'll see you guys again tomorrow around uh, 1 p.m. Central. And I'm going to get some practice in. I'm going to do the Rocky montage. <laughs> anyway, take care, guys. Until next time, stay frosty. Just got this game today. Jacob, congratulations. You're going to love it. Maybe. It's really good, though. Here's what I recommend. First thing you should do, go into setup. Go to these. The dead zone is automatically 15%. I would bring left stick to six. That's as low as I can go before I start getting minor stick drift. You gotta be careful. Sometimes you get almost imperceptible, but it'll happen like once every hundred times you stop moving, and that might be the time it kills you. Right stick, go as low as you can. Um, the lowest it allows you to do is 1% dead zone, and I can do that with zero stick drift, so go as low as you can with both of these, but be careful with the left one. Also, uh, you can turn on your cycle timer. I recommend doing that. It's in the gameplay options, and that's what's right above my minimap there. Those are the things I recommend you do. Um, I also recommend you only spend ether on reconstructors and this thing. But only spend it on this thing when you're really sure you're going to live. Otherwise, you might waste it. Those are my tips for you. All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. And thank you for joining me for this. I really do appreciate it. It was a blast. I hope you guys had half as much fun as I did. Look at this. I still got a little pizza left. This is my good luck charm. <laughs>